Bro, every like, every like six to nine months, I just cannot keep away from, just can't stay away from cock, all right? I just can't. Something calls to me. Something just calls to me, can't stay away. I'm a simple man. Okay, I have never made it past level 20 in this game, but yet I've always felt like I died when I was at my absolute strongest and I couldn't get more powerful. I believe the last time I streamed this, I was a ego warrior of immense power, but I made a great mistake, which was jumping into someone else's body and then killing my original body and then dying, which meant I could no longer rewind time to undo my death. That's real, that's how the game works. I had the power of precognition and could see the future. I activated it and then did something silly. But during that silly thing, I killed my own guy, but I was in a different body, therefore ending my life. That will not happen to me today. I haven't decided yet if I want to do an ego run because ego runs are... It, dude, ego runs are stressful. All right, every other fucking version of a character in this game gets like robot hands or like a lot of arms. And like within two days of being a wizard, you get a fucking text on your phone that says the wizards know and they're pissed. And then you get people showing up at your house trying to kill you every 15 seconds. It's hard to resist. It's hard to resist. It's real hard to resist. Yeah, no, there's... I, I do think, as far as I'm concerned, I've played... I mean, I haven't played... A, like, I'll be fully transparent. I've played about 60 hours of Caves of Cut. I've not, I'm not someone that's out here with 500,000 hours of this game that, and I've fucking gone to like the end game zones and like fucking walked back and forth and done everything. All right. There's still a lot I'm not familiar with. And there are certain things that appeal to me a lot more in this game than others. For instance, uh, mutant runs are way more interesting to me than playing a fucking like cyber boy. I just don't care about them. I just like my, I like my random chance where sometimes my guy grows six heads and is really strong. You know? Why the hell would I want to play some doofus? Why the hell would I want to play some true kin doofus? Nice cybernetics, idiot. I grew my cybernetics. I don't know. There's like part of my brain that's always like cybernetics. It's like a total flip, isn't it? Because in like you play Cataclysm or something, cybernetics is the good thing. You want cybernetics because you can, those are predictable. You don't need to build crazy shit like in your character when you start to get those things and thus they're always spicy and really good. And mutations are kind of the psycho move. This one's kind of switches it around where it's like fucking hell. It's uh, it feels like a lot of work to do cybernetics in this game. I mean, can't you get both in Cataclysm? Well, I mean, yeah, technically you can get both, but like, I don't know if you've ever decided to do a run with mutations without um robust genetics, but um, well, I wouldn't advise it. Well, I wouldn't advise taking a dip in any toxic slime without robust genetics. You're kind of asking for um. A bad run, suddenly. Oops, uh-oh. All I got was this really, really bad stuff. My skin melts and it hurts. They removed toxic mutation, no more sewage slurping. What? 
You're telling me now if I want to get radioactive and freaking CDDA, I have to climb into a fucking, like, old nuclear plant and fucking just stand there until I soak it? You're telling me I can't just walk up to slime and sip it? You tell me I can't microdose on radiation now? It's fine, that's what mods are for, dude. Besides, anyone that's anyone that uses mods on CDDA just goes and finds a rat in a cave, one of the rat kings, and just becomes a rat man. Because, uh, it's the best stuff in the game. Get yourself some perfect night vision and never go out during the day again. Everyone that's anyone just does that. The meta. That also got removed, I think. I raise you one bright nights, and we can stop this conversation there. Ah. Yeah, there's spinoffs. This conversation is like a different language to me. Yeah, these uh Cataclysms a lot. I mean fucking hell. I don't look at the patch notes for cataclysm. I haven't played it in like a year and a half But uh, I mean you could tell me 90 things got removed 90 things got added that game gets fucking patched every other day with some bullshit so I just go back. Honestly, at this point, I think I'd only play on the uh, stable builds because it, it moves too quickly. You watch any of the Exile Con stuff? No. Why would I ever do that? Do you think I'm sick? No, I don't watch convention panels. I just don't do that. You let me know when the next league starts, and until then, leave me alone. Okay? I don't care about anything else. Streamer, what's your comment on the Barbie movie allegations? I have seen the movie, and as of now, I will say this, Blair. I actually loved it. I thought that movie was fucking awesome. I loved it. It's like my first time going to a movie since, uh, <laughs> Ready Player One, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was like something I realized when I was like going into the theater. I was like, wait, I am Knuff. <laughs> Look, I... That it was just a good fucking movie that was like actually like tried to do something fresh and like interesting and actually say something. It was just fucking refreshing. I loved it. It was funny. It actually gave a shit about what it was doing out there and wasn't just cashing in on like a franchise. Not looking forward to the sequential Polly Pocket, etc. I mean, it's like a case by case. Like, that one was like genuine. Like, it was just a good fucking movie. It was a good movie. Hasbro has already greenlit 14 more toy movies. Man. Ugh. <laughs> the chairs scared me. Yeah, there were these. <laughs> there were these chairs, like, we're at like a luxury theater or something. I don't know. The theaters out here where I live are fucking terrible. Like, they are like folding chairs. They're just folding chairs. You know, like what you expect when you go to a movie theater. The ones at this place had like fucking like actual like settings on the side for like 
the amount of intensity you want to be thrown around if like something jostles on screen. And like the first time it happened, I got like jump scared and I like jerked out of my chair. And like I didn't know what was going on. It took me like an extra like 30 seconds to figure out what the hell was happening because I was in like a fucking... I, movie theater might as well have had smell vision. I wouldn't have been shocked. Can't wait for the next Hasbro movie. Can't wait for the Mr. Potato Head movie. <laughs> Dude, we're all excited for the big new movies coming out. God help you if you watched Oppenheimer. Yeah, I was getting jostled around quite a bit there, and I, like, turned the settings down, and I'll tell you what, if I had a fucking real nuclear explosion happen in that movie theater on the big screen, jeez, I'd be, like, I'd be a freaking pancake on the ceiling or some shit. Ugh. Yeah, I probably won't see Oppenheimer for a long time. <laughs> that's a that's probably a movie I'll watch when it comes out in uh streaming. A good old that's a now that there's a streaming movie for me. Is it good though? I mean, I'm sure I'll like it. Just as I was also sure from like looking at like the general opinion of like the Barbie movie that I would like that because it was it was like very obviously like doing something new and fresh. And I was like, all right, I'm going to like it. You know, I'm sure I'll like Oppenheimer when I watch it. I don't know. It Honestly, the more I consult my opinions on movies, the more that it's almost impossible I've found for me to dislike a movie because it has to be just boring it has to be bad boring because if it's bad it's funny or i can like pick out stupid shit and laugh about it like so there's a level where it has to be bad boring which is fucking hard i feel like i haven't seen one of those in a long time what's the last like bad boring movie i've seen Twilight 1? Wrong. The Twilight series is one of the funniest goddamn watches someone can do, especially in 2023. And anyone that says otherwise is a, is, is an idiot. All right. I'm. Th this might sound like a hard take I'm making here, but you're an idiot. You don't know anything about anything. Okay. In retrospect, in 2023, those movies are fucking killer. Okay. They are killer. Is it that funny? I've never, la I think the hardest I, I've ever laughed, like watching movies that weren't intentionally funny was Twilight, like a couple of months back. That shit, that shit made me laugh. Something fierce. Show them the baby scene. I cannot do these things. These are journeys you have to take on your own. But then again, yeah, I guess my takes on movies are kind of skewed by the fact that I'm a Neil Breen enjoyer. Like, I'm a Neil Breen enjoyer. I, unironically, I'll go, I, it, it's barely ironic, like me watching those movies. I'm a Breeniac. Eyes on Breen. Okay. Hashtag eyes on Breen. Everybody in Discord thought I was a jerk when I called the Twilight Baby a freak, and then they looked closer. Like, people don't know that that fucking creature is CGI from start to finish, because they didn't watch it. Like, that's how you know if someone, like, really didn't, like, actually observe any of that movie, is if they, like, think that, like, that's an actual baby, and not, like, for some reason, a CGI homunculus that, like, the fucking director thought was a good idea. There's some freaky shit in that movie. The 
though I'll tell you what. You gotta like you gotta really go in you gotta go in with a lot of strength because by the last movie of those four, they get so they are so long for feeling like it feels like nothing's happening. By like the end of like the middle of the fourth movie, it feels like nothing's happening and for some reason it's two and a half hours long. Like non extended. Two and a half hour long movie and you're like blinking out of sync with both your eyes. You barely know what's going on. It's still worth it, but holy shit, it's fucking long. You gotta get drunk. That's a drinking movie. Peter Jackson's King Kong is like three hours. It's a good fucking movie. It's been some time since I've seen that one. Remember the video game? Remember making a video about that? Ugh. Three magazines on backup. Dude, I still remember that fucking, like, <laughs> what were the fucking, what was the director, what, what, what was Peter thinking when he was like, I'm gonna fucking make that nasty, like, chasm scene? Like, what the fuck? Did they just have extra budget? Did they just have, like, extra budget for the movie? They have, like, did they end up getting more than they needed and they were like, we're gonna just put in some fucking insanely horrid shit. I want some dude's head to be eaten by a big worm. I remember the worms eating that guy. Some dude in that movie got eaten by four separate worms at the same time. They all each grabbed one of his arms and legs and fucking like ripped him up. It was really disturbingly coordinated by those worms. You'd think they wouldn't co like they're just worms. I don't feel like they're that smart, but I mean, they were big. His head too. Yeah, they got wormed and quartered. Holy damn. Ah, uh, yeah. Huh. I still remember people loudly sobbing in the theater at the end of that movie. I don't think I've ever left a movie theater hearing people loudly sobbing. Matter of fact, I don't think I've ever been in a movie theater and heard anyone loudly sobbing. Or even crying. Did they not know how it was going to end? I, I mean, it's like, even if you know how something's going to end, it, there's still a level of, like, it can still get you. It can still get you. Just because you have time to prepare mentally for something to be sad doesn't mean when that sad thing happens, you're not going to be like, oh, yep, this did exactly what I thought I was preparing for. Yup. Dead Poet Society. That was one where I was like, I watched it with someone and they didn't tell me it was going to be sad. <laughs> they were like, you're going to really like this movie. And I was like, are you sure? Uh, what kind of movie is it? And they omitted the part where they were like, oh, it's really fucking sad at the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I'm kind of a person that likes to know the like, energy of the movie both at the beginning and the end you know like i'm okay like i can get emotional watching a movie and that's great dude crying's good and like getting to those places is good shit but i kind of do like knowing what i'm going in for because sometimes i'd be like hey i don't really feel like doing a sad one today <laughs> 
You know, or something like that. See, what I want on movie theater posters is a big banner on the bottom that says, Sad. Happy. Silly. Spooky. You know, like in big old, big old text. Rated. Sad. Rated. Really sad. Yeah, let's get a fucking sad rating going for movies, yeah? This is some cruelty squad bullshit. Look, dude. The only way I know right now when I look at a movie if it's gonna be sad or not is if there's a dog on the front and the dog doesn't talk. Okay, that's the only way I know if a movie's gonna be really sad and I know how to avoid it. If the dog doesn't talk like a human, it's going to kill me. So I don't go near those. Right? Like, that's the only fucking thing I have. There's a dog anywhere on the poster and that dog doesn't talk like a person, then they're gonna die. And I don't want to be there for that. Talking dogs always make it though. They can't kill a talking dog. It's not possible. But the second the dog can't talk, I swear to God, it's like they get it's. The fucking script is written around the death of the dog. They don't actually, like, fucking write that. They don't, like, choose to kill the dog halfway through writing the script. The dog's death was always foretold in the scrolls. That's how they do it. I am legend vibes. Bro. I couldn't watch that movie a second time. I never have. I don't know. There's like... There's like a level of knowing that like that exists that just makes me go like, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> like I watched it once when I was like a kid and I was like, yeah, yep, okay. And then I um, uh, never did that again. There's also the weird alternative endings. Yeah, I Am Legend is fucking weird in that, like, there's a bunch of endings to that movie, and it's like, I don't know. Uh, make up your fucking mind, um, director. Hey, director. Make up your fucking mind. Uh, what was the, like, what? And then aren't they making, like, a sequel now? Like, I don't know. Having multiple endings to your movie just seems like you just didn't fucking know what you wanted to do and like i don't know kind of cheapens it to me it cheapens it, it makes it not matter Isn't it gener generally caused by executive meddling? I don't fucking know, dude. All I know is that it cheapened the ending. I don't know. Shrug. BRB got a zost on X. That, like, actually, that, that was a stunlock message. That made me, like, feel bad. No, I know what I know what they're saying. Uh, I get it. It just took me like I had to read it in my head before I even read it out loud like multiple times. It's Zeet. Ah, yes. I'm fucking Zeeting, dude. Here I go. I don't even want to really get into that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
I've uh, I've observed the transformation of uh, Twitter into whatever it is now, and uh, I, I don't even want to think about it. It just it, it, it it's there's a level of madness now that we're watching in real time that's almost more fascinating than anything. And someone making a documentary right now is having a really good time, fucking like slurping up all this for like whatever documentary they're making about the like the descent into madness of like a like you know billionaire. Uh, like they're pro they're fucking really enjoying all this stuff as they like wring their fucking hands. <laughs> yes. 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 Church is on Sunday, guys. I know. I started this dream as soon as I got back from church and praying to God. As I assume everyone else is watching this dream after getting back from church and praying to God. Mm hmm I think we should all ignore the new changes and pretend it's still Twitter. Dude. Listen here, I still, to this day, I'm confident that no matter what happens, I would never change that. Because, to this day, when someone says, Dude, uh, how do you feel about, why are you ever post on, like, meta, dude? I'm like, you mean, you mean Facebook? Like, that shit never worked on me, dude. My brain cannot be, cannot be tricked that easily. I stand confident that my brain literally cannot learn new things or ever change. And that's why I know no matter what rebranding ever happens anywhere, I will always say the exact original thing I learned back when that information was burned into my neurons. Mm hmm. It will be the Oculus Quest for me until the day I, day I die. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still call Outlook Hotmail. Yeah, yeah. Only thing that X sign is in violation of seven safety co- like, there's got to be a level of, like, how many stupid things can, like, d d I don't even, I want to get into it. I don't want to get into it. No, I, I was about to get into it. I don't want to get into it because then it's going to be the entire stream, like, for the rest of the intro is going to be me talking about. I don't want to get into it. I'm not getting into it. I can't. There's a lot of things I could say, but I won't. I have thoughts, lots of thoughts. All right, I know, shocker, but I can't get into it. I just don't have the fucking strength. I don't have the strength. God, I feel traumatized by D&D &D yesterday. You and me both, man. We got owned. That's, uh... Hey, but you know what? Here's the thing. It was a learning experience and the rules are being changed to adjust. So that's good. I was ready to keep on getting owned without any rule changes, but holy heck. Uh, nothing matters but HP. Uh, Gideon and Turg were OP though, Tomato. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did we watch the same stream? Did we all see the part where I got instantly hit through my 18 AC and downed in one? And then that happened again? The second time I was rezzed? Did we all catch that part where I got owned twice in a row? I think you meant to say Velcro was OP before they died. R.I.P.
OP meaning one punched. Perhaps. Perhaps. Listen, I don't know yet if, like, we're actually doubling down on doing, like, a full, like, redo with, like, the divination wizard bit that, like, we talked about. Or if we're going to just, like, continue with the updated HP rules, like, onwards from the where we stopped. But I'll say one thing. I was so busy this week that I literally put together everything about Gideon in the uh, 20 minutes before the session started. I didn't tell anyone. So quite happy to have a little bit more time to perhaps adjust some of those things and uh, get a little bit more in my comfort zone for that character because um <laughs> sometimes you just gotta sometimes you just gotta you know pedal the metal figure something out whoopsie how will the rules change though uh currently the main rule change i think that's locked in is that we are no longer adjusting for any hardcore stuff for HP. So first level, you have your maximum HP possible. Uh, and then second level onwards, you can take average uh, off of your die if you roll lower than half, which I think is fundamentally required to be able to beat this module. I don't think we could do it otherwise. Uh, we, there's just, everything does too much damage, and we're getting, we don't have, like, if you lose an action early game, you fu you are fucked. Like, our group is losing actions on the first round of combat, and then uh, not able to recover because of it, and then it's just a snowball. I don't think D&D &D combat is based around the possibility for any players to be one-shotted. <laughs> There's no like, rec there's no way to recover once you once it starts rolling like once uh, the snowball starts happening unless people are healing, unless the person that went down is positioned well on the initiative order, because there's no time for them to get their like action back sometimes, because they're just getting like downed on loop. So yeah, there there's a level of like that just isn't possible, I think. Wouldn't need healing if you just dodged everything. Listen here, motherfucker. 18 AC on a level one module. Listen here. Mathematically, I had a one in 10 chance of being hit pretty much based off the modifiers of all the enemies for hitting. AC don't mean shit, okay? AC has way more worth at end game, case in point, my boy, Adelward, the Blade Singer Wizard with 34 or something AC at the end of the campaign. Literally, Joe wouldn't bother. He wouldn't dare bother. Why would he bother? He'd go around me because why would you even try? You nat 20 me, I teleport you out of the plane instead. So why would you even bother? You can't hit me. Did you try Blade Singer Monk? They can get to 50 AC. Uh, you'd have to have like fucking insane stats, like base to do that, or like crazy magic items. Also, 50 AC is overkill. I would argue that 30 AC was overkill. <laughs> like nothing's ever, because here's the thing, chat. At a certain point, you don't need that much AC because the DM's never gonna balance damage around you because then anyone else they ever hit in a fight is going to be instantly turned to goo. And that's not fun for the rest of the team. So going up past like 30 AC, I think is fucking stupid. Like my 34 was as a result of shield plus haste on my character at the same time. Like if I had multiple good buffs on, on top of it, that's how I got that high. You don't like, you get more than you get more than 30, no one's going to be hitting you anyways. Yeah. And I mean, hell, I mean, when I played Adelward on uh, Godforge, all Joe had to do to beat me was make me do a charisma save. 
haste just dispel that I counter spell <laughs> dude that's the that's the thing is that I was an end game wizard with simulacrum you can't dispel my spells you can't stop me from holding buffs because whatever you do I have two counter spells available on my initiative to cancel I will always be the one comp I will always be finishing my actions Yeah. If I was a rule maker for D and D and could pull any spell out of the game and be like, "That's banned," uh, it'd be Similicum. <laughs> Get that out of the game. Uh, that was the most OP thing in the entire fucking game. I don't think there's anything that's more OP than that shit. literally doubles your character's power the fact it's given you know what like, i don't know there's just no way to balance that shit like they try to balance it by money but like you uh, everyone has a million billion dollars in DD. come on by like by like halfway through the campaign at some point your dm has just been like you get, you get twenty thousand gold like i just don't want to fucking deal with this anymore like <laughs> so everyone has the resources they need to cast that spell Have you ever tried Pathfinder? I don't have much interest in Pathfinder. If I had like a DM that was like, I want to do Pathfinder, I'd probably feel more compelled to learn, but I'm not, I don't have a reason to play it. So I have no interest in looking into it. No, thank you. I have nothing against it. It's just like... Why would I read a rule set for a game that I have no cause to play? All the DMs I know that I play with do 5e, and I'm not in the market for playing in more campaigns. Nope. I'm at my limit. No more. Especially considering what August, late August, we're doing Sunforge now. And then uh, sometime in probably like the next months after that, Mistletoe picks back up for my end at least. Then I'll be back on three campaigns at the same time. But D and D is so cool. Oh, I love D and D, but I also love free time. And I've started to realize that in all this D and D I'm playing, I have no time to like kick back and like uh, prep for stream, really do much of anything else. And uh, yeah, if I picked up like a fourth thing, I'd fuck. I'd actually be fucked. So uh, no. No. I've done enough. I'm not like burned out. Like to be clear, I really do like D&D. &D. And if someone walked up to me like, do you want to do one more campaign? I'd like think about it. But like, no, it's a level of like being adult and decline. Because you have to. What if you do a campaign to help me build my windmill and vintage story? Buh. Bro. Holy shit. I'm just trying to make pottery, man. Dude. I get it. It's just so fucking tiring sometimes. I know how passionate you are about Vintage Story, but last time I was in there, they told me I had to make tongs. But those tongs didn't make any sense and I don't know if I could do that again I have the tongs hot and ready for you yeah but like it's too late for me
bozo stunlocked by barbecue tools. Shut the fuck up! I loved vintage. What the fuck was that? I loved vintage. What the fuck was that about? Weird. What the? Actual golf ball sized rot hole in brain from tongs. Can you fucking blame me? Motherfucker. Do you know how hard I was pushed? I'm so tired. Listen, one of my, I think, my greatest, like, frustration on any stream is when I set out at the beginning to be like, this time I'm going to get somewhere cool and farther than I have before. And then I'm fucking gate kept at the exact same spot I have been at every other time I've played that exact game okay and this is a pattern there are many games where this happens okay <clears throat> and when orlando orlando does not count no 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 no. i have my save for fucking urge and when orlando is done i'm gonna be loading up the same fucking save i'm not restarting my shit okay We're, next time I play Urge, we're playing from like a middle game point. I'm not doing that. Happy Bay doesn't count. Doesn't count. We ended up next time we sailed out and found a different spot. And we did do that. All right. Copper in Vintage Story counts. Copper in Vintage Story fucking counts. Reaching the point where we get cybernetics and cataclysm. Or even a character that has a real functional base and lives more than a month. Counts. Alright? I only had one character that ever got past, like, the one month mark on stream in cataclysm. Everyone else, like, died, like, the minute I went outside and, like, did something that wasn't, like, hiding in my house. And we all know that. It was the Rat Man. Rat Man did good. Everyone else died like fucking clowns. Okay? Because that's just how it works. Every stalker run? Nah, dude. The thing with stalker is that uh, I'm not getting gatekept by that. I'm really good at stalker. The problem is it takes forever to fucking progress. So, like, there's a level of, like, either I do something funny in stalker that's new or weird, or I start from the middle. Because stalker takes forever. Stalker's just a long game. Getting past Alaska in SnowRunner. You mean Mudrunner, but with some snow in it? <laughs> you mean Mud Runner, where we just hang out in Michigan? Yeah, I think you meant to say Mud Runner in Michigan. We love every Noida run. Fuck you, I've beaten that game on stream. That one doesn't count either. I can go down the list of games where it counts where I, like, got gate-kept or, like, I've stopped at the same point every time. Uh, Rain World. I haven't played Rain World and gotten past, like, the second or third zone and, like, actually seen anything new ever. Never happened. Uh... Thief Simulator. I only played that game once. That doesn't count? Guys, I, I've only played that game one time. You're just going to say any game I only played once and never went back to as like, a, oh, he got Lobotomy Corp as one. No, 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 no. Well, like, let's be fair. The last time I seriously played Lobotomy Corp as like, I'm just playing Lobotomy Corp and progressing. Uh, We got gate kept by... Like, one of those things where it was, like, basically, like, hey, you have to restart. You're fucked. You can't beat it. You're fucked, right? So, like, I didn't really have a choice. Like, there's a level of, like, expectation in that game where you don't know that you're even fucked until you've gotten there. And then it wants you to restart. So, it kind of, ins it makes you restart. 
And then, like, the last time I played it, I was doing with mods, and I had to do a fresh restart anyways because I was checking out a mod. So. This doesn't apply. I just want you to play Scavenger SV4 again. I can't play that game again, chat, because the only reason I go back to play it again is for one really specific thing that's, like, a small chance of even spawning. And people who know know why I would go back to play it one more time. But ultimately, like, fishing for that would be such a bad idea for, like, a stream. War Tales. The problem with War Tales is that it takes forever to play in co-op, and if I'm playing it single player, I'd rather play Battle Brothers. Because Battle Brothers is incredible, and I'd rather play Battle Brothers. We have yet to beat Cruelty Squad. What do you mean, we? What do you- why are you using the word we? Why, why are you using the word we? I've beaten Cruelty Squad. <laughs> oh, Bone Lab. Why the fuck would anyone want to beat Bone Lab? Even the devs of Bone Lab didn't even finish Bone Lab. Don't talk about Bone Lab. You will never beat Conrad Stevenson Paranormal. Why would I want to beat that game? That's like a perfect, like, go back every once in a while and play for a bit game. I don't want that game to be beaten. That's like my, that's like one of my great fallback, like, play a spooky game game. Caves of Cud. Caves of Cud doesn't fucking count because at every single one of my streams, by the end, I am God. Okay? I don't need to beat Caves of Cud. Okay? I was an ego wizard god okay i didn't i'm not getting i'm not getting gate kept okay i'm fighting off the armies of the undead wizards of this world they want to devour my brain okay i'll show you never finished xcom no one finishes xcom but like sam and he's miserable by the end xcom's only fun for the first like 12 hours anyone who says otherwise is lying Especially with mods. Just snowballs and becomes miserable. The moon stairs call to you, Tomato. I don't want to go there. I watch, like, gameplay of someone going around the moon stairs, and they actually, like, they were, like, a level 40 character. Like, super strong. And someone, like, something just shot one bullet at them, and their guy was actually paced on the ground in one shot and I'm like yeah I don't know there's a level of like in high level play in cataclysm you can kind of look at something before it sees you all the time if that makes sense because of the way the map is designed in cataclysm peaking is incentivized and you're usually not being jumped by something that's super strong you can peek be careful Unless it's a sniper turret. But even then, uh, most of the time, those are in places that you kind of know where they're going to be. And if you walk out, it's because you got lazy and stopped checking. That's how I died to a sniper turret, was I got lazy and I stopped checking. Uh, fucking... Caves of Cud, though. Sometimes you just die. Sometimes your character just gets hit bad. Did someone just say Neo Scavenger? Motherfucker, I beat that game on stream. I beat it as much as I felt compelled to. I didn't get gatekept by something. I fucking defeated the spirit. I killed the ghost. All right? I got as far as people... You can be like, no, there's like another thing you have to do. No, dude. No, dude. I fucking, as far as I'm concerned, I beat that game. And besides, we're not talking about whether or not I've beaten a game. We're talking about whether or not I've been gatekept at the same point in every game. In Neo Scavenger, I consistently got farther every single time. That's like one of the worst examples. Literally the worst example you could pull. Same with Barony. We, we got past the thing on... You guys don't understand! You guys don't understand the point we're making here. You're lo you got fucking confused. So allow me to remind you so you can stop making a fool of yourself. Okay? 
they're lo you're lost in the you're lost you're lost in this in all the details here and you're not listening okay we're talking about games where I do like one stream of it and I get to the same point every single time and I never get past it I got past it in barony I got past it in neo scavenger those don't count now jalopy yeah I beat jalopy Barrow Trauma. Barrow Trauma. Multiplayer games like that, I do not count because they are totally fucking different beasts. Okay? That's not just me being able to, like, practice it off stream and, like, make sure I'm going to be able to get past that point and stuff. Exanima? Dude, I literally got to the end of everything in Exanima. <laughs> Guys. I literally got to the end of every single piece of content in Exanima. There's nothing left to do. Guys. Not even the devs have gotten past the gatekeeping parts of Exanima, dude. They, they, I'm being gatekept by their dev cycle. They don't even know how to get past it, dude. They've been trying to figure out how to add new content to that game for years. What, are you kidding me? Quit flaunting your gamer score. You aren't that cool. I've collected 100 feathers in Assassin's Creed 2. Do you see my fucking... Do you see my goddamn cape, dude? No, I didn't. That's awful. I do know someone who did that. Journey to the Core Checkmate. Journey to the Core was the first time I did a Minecraft mod pack and was like, holy shit, I didn't realize it would be like this. Because I like watched Shane play it like a long time ago and I was like, this looks like fun. I didn't realize how like meme -y and like ridiculously stupid it would be. And that kind of took the win. I, like I could have played more of it, but I was just kind of like, eh, I wasn't having fun. Greg Tech New Horizons when? Did you beat, uh, how, how far did you get to, uh, get through Greg Tech? Voice? Hey, voice. H4? What does that mean? No, explain that in, like, fucking, like, actual tech progression terms. What's H4? Answer me. Like just went to space. Yeesh, man. 200 hours? Yeah, I got better things to do with my life than that, I think. I stopped Journey to the Core when I finally managed to make a base in the first layer and a creeper ran and screamed John Cena and deleted the entire thing. Yeah, I think there's a level of like, if the creepers weren't yelling memes... Uh, when they blew up my base in that mod pack, I wouldn't have been bothered so much. But I think there's a level of if something happens, and it's also apparently a silly joke to the, like, the creator of the thing I'm playing. I think that makes me deeply, deeply tilted. Tomato, are you going to kill a pyramid in this cock stream? Smile. I hardly know what that is, and I would ask you to remember that while I've played a, like 60 hours of this game, I don't know everything. I don't want you to ask me specifically, are you going to do this thing that might be a spoiler? Okay. Did you mod this? I usually run a couple of mods, but they're all, uh, quality of life. Mainly. But yeah, we'll probably get inside the game in a minute, because I do want to, I do want to get the ball rolling. I thought you were playing with the Krungle mod. I did look at the Krungle mod, because I usually look at like a lot of the newer mods for these games before I start streaming them, and uh, I think that mod is unplayable. 
<laughs> I think the Krugel mod is a fundamentally unplayable mod. Like, I don't think, uh... I don't think, um, I don't think you can actually beat or do really anything in the game with Krunkle Mod. Also, there's something, like, unfun about, like, playing... Alright, for context check, Krunkle Mod is a thing where you, uh, basically just set... It's a setting when you start that just gives you a random NPC from the world. Uh, you can pick the region they're from and it'll just give you, like, a random creature. It could be an enemy, it could be, like, a NPC, like, with a name and, like, gear could be basically anything uh but usually that means you spawn in as a idiot squirrel who is then immediately eaten by the creature next to it and also simultaneously if you spawn in as someone that's like super high level and like a god um well you none of the there's kind of the, a level of the wind being taken out of your sails because the best thing about caves of cut is the character generation and like the variety of builds and having that all thrown onto you i think is deeply boring like deeply boring Baboon run sounds fun for five seconds. Yeah. Look, man, I'll tell you what's gonna happen today. I'm your boring. Don't make me go into your chat history and check how many fucking really funny, silly, exciting, and non boring things you've said. All right, don't push me. You do not want to push me any closer towards the corner, because I swear to God, I'm going to start swinging. I've audited for less. I audit for way less, dude. You think I've been improving as a person and becoming kinder and more understanding? Wrong. I've just been waiting for a chance to snap and tear someone down. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Huge mistake. All right, Chad, I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we're going to start playing the game, okay? I'll be right back. Focus up. It's time. Stop. Yes. 
it's time to embark towards the caves. It's time. Now the true question is, what kind of creature are we going to be? I mean, it's going to be mutated human. I'm just going to be honest. We're not even going to look at true kin because give me a fucking break. I'm not dumb. It's going to be a it's going to be a mutated freak because um, you know the the listen okay, listen true kin. You, did you say lame for the, being a mutant? True kin is so much more involved. And what I like, at least on stream, is kind of having, um, kind of having just a psycho run. You know, like, I, I don't know, there's something more fun about being a psycho. But am I really... Am I really about to just go straight back to ego? Am I... Am I really about to just... Am I really about to turn on an ego run again? Chad, look. Look, Chad, because here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. I could press random, but there's some things I hate. I, I hate. I hate the idea of being a guy that uses a gun. I think it's fucking boring. I think range crap is, is I think ranged guns is boring when I could be ranged with my brain. So if we were a brain guy, but tomato six guns. Hmm, we could also be this guy who punches good. We could also be this guy who swings really good. All right, let's let's do a random and let's see if I like what I random to. How about that? How about we, how about how about we do that? Okay. Drifter. No. Pilgrim. <laughs> Whatever I pick next, if I press R again is what I have to do. I was going to say before I started pressing R that I would have three ch like tries. So if I get off of Pilgrim, I have to pick the next thing. Now, if I were to do Pilgrim, I'd have Self-Discipline, Fasting Way, Iron Mind, and Wayfair. Scholar. Tinkering. First Aid. Heal. Tactics. Customs and Folklore. I mean, hey, that gives us some use with uh, items as well. That's pretty good. Scholar's not that bad. Scholar gets us access to quite a few things and also gets us uh, tinkering, which means that we can, like, fuck with technology. And healing pretty early honestly I like it we're gonna go with that scholar why is it not oh no is there some weird fucking I literally hang on hold up one second I might have to turn off uh, there was like a mod thing earlier and I tested it and it was uh, fine and now it seems to not be fine again I'm just gonna rip this mod off one or two that I think are the issue here and just make sure they're not in it anymore so it won't like keep me from being able to push my character build forward. I don't know why it does that, uh, but it should be fixed in a second. This issue happened last time you were streaming this game as well. There's like some, look, I'm playing on the experimental build of the game. So like stuff that I tested prior uh, changed. So give me one second. New mutated kin, scholar. Why is it stopping me now? That's so weird. It wasn't stopping me when I... <gasps> and it's not stopping me if I do True Kit. Hang on, I'm going to rip some of these mods off because they don't actually matter uh, with all the updates. Give me a second. Mm -mm -mm. Pull that off. The only one that I care about is the expanded mod. I think that one, that one matters to me. If I can keep that. Let me check when that was updated. June 24th. Pretty sure that one should be fine. Hang on. I'm just going to rip off some of these other things quick. Yoink. Yoink. Turn off crungle mode. Don't need it. Turn off that. We'll never use it. Okay. 
That should fix it, I hope. Could random be stopping it? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the game now. And then it hopefully will just be fine. Because it was working fine earlier. And then, uh, I don't know. Story of my life, chat, for about five minutes before we start a roguelike thing in Caves of Cud. It keeps me from being able to generate a character. It's not a big deal. Because it's very quickly fixed. But, uh. I don't know why this one's giving me so much trouble. Oh, wait. It's not letting me pick mutations, so I think that actually tells me what the problem is. Hold up, I got it. It's only mutations window I can't go to, so I'm just gonna turn off specifically this mutations mod, and then we'll be good to go. That's so weird, because I tested- I guess I tested it- ah, uh, yeah. I was testing it without the beta version, so maybe that's the problem. But I liked this mod. Bro. Dude, but I like this one. This mod was badass, dude. I wanted to use that one. Wait a minute. Damn. Hang on, before I do that. Listen, chat, we can all just keep on hanging out for a second while I do this because it's nice and easy peasy. None of this really matters. I'm going to disable everything except for those two mods because I want to make sure that's uh, what the issue is. And then I'll know for sure because I don't have that many mods on. So if I can get these two working, I would like that if I'm playing a mutation build. tech issue stream it's barely even anything because ultimately at the end of the day i've played so little of this game in the grand scheme that if i needed to i could very easily yeah one of those two mutation mods is fucking with it so turn off one of them and i'll turn off the other and it'll tell me which one it is and then i'll turn back on everything else and then i'll have it all nice and easy Look, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. If I can get one of these two on, both of them add like a bunch of like new mutations and stuff to the game. Having one of them on would be nice if we're playing a mutation character. Yep, there we go. Okay, I fixed it. Uh, all right, I'm going to turn back on everything else and make sure I'm unsubscribed from that one entirely. Just get off my bar. Everything else should be good. Give me a minute. Gonna tick everything else back on because I do like them and I want them on. Okay. They gonna lose subscriber. Bro! Dude! No! Alright, back to it. Scholar, we are a. Every day that I play Caves of Cud, I am tempted by Unstable Genome. I'm tempted by enabling the morphotype Unstable Genome. You gain one extra mutation each time you buy this, but the mutations don't manifest right away. Whenever you gain a level, there's a 33% chance that your genome destabilizes and you get to choose from three random mutations. It's a gamba. Sometimes you don't get any, and you look like an idiot, but when it pays off... My god, I could do it five times! <laughs> look, you can take Unstable Genome and say you're an Esper, dude. Look, if I'm gonna play Scholar, I'm gonna take Esper. I'm not gonna say I'm a Chimera. We'd want Esper. We'd want to go into Ego, not fucking Melee. Look, chat, every time we do this, we get a little bit stronger. We still have six points to spend on... Hang on. Oh, yeah, there's defects. We gotta really make a whole character here. Well, let's start with our... <laughs> Nine lives, Paradox. Whenever you would die, you were teleported to the last cats you've pet. <laughs> 
What the? Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? I didn't think that was going to be how that played out. Petting a feline creature leaves an imprint on the time flux ley lines, creating a paradox. Ah, yes. Yeah, this is what... See, chat, this, this is the mod stuff. This is why I wanted the mods. These are, like, fun. Uh, whatever you would die or teleport to the last cats you pet, dying removes both the level from the mutation and minus 50 reputation with cats. Damn. Uh... In corporeal form, your physical form was banished to the Aether forever. You are per permanently in the phase. Okay. Uh, let's see. psycho -phletheric deterioration. Your incredible psionic powers come at the cost of overwhelming the stability of your physical form. You are doomed to hunting down physical husk to maintain your tether to this reality, albeit the magnitude of your psionic abilities are of a realm of its own. Okay. Uh, shunt the imprints of your victim's mind from their bodies and assume the throne of their vessel. Now, chat, here's the thing. <laughs> now, yes. This is more beneficial if we were playing someone that already had naturally higher ego. We don't have, we are not like, we are not built immediately to be able to super benefit from that, I think. I I, I don't know if I want to be... Last time I body snatched, I, it played out really bad. Okay, last time I body snatched, it played out really bad. I don't think I want that. Uh, whether uh, it be exponential instinct or an innate lucidity of the mind, you sometimes accrue knowledge from foreign places in your psyche and gain a bonus to experience. 10% chance to gain bonus experience. That just feels really good, but the same. I need. We need to pick defects before I pick any benefits, right? Uh, you forget things in place. Whenever you learn a new secret, there's a small chance you forget a secret. Whenever you return to a map you previously visited, there's a small chance you forget the layout. Yeah. Oh, we only get to take one of these, huh? That's how they balance me from being able to take a fucking million negatives. Uh, let's see, socially repugnant. I'm not gonna need to be socially likable uh, if I have brain powers and can melt someone's brain. Uh, no, that's suicide. Narcolepsy would kill me. Psionic migraines. Uh, you can't wear hats or helmets. Mm, quantum jitters. Uh... No. Nope. No. You're worse at examining artifacts. No, I have I have tech stuff. Evil twin. Acting on some inscrutable impulse, a parallel version of yourself travels through space and time to destroy you. Each time you embark on a new location, there's a small chance your evil twin has tracked you there and attempts to kill you. Yeah, I guess I could have an evil twin. Uh, and physical defect. Uh, we don't get to take one of those. Okay, so I have nine points. I could technically get more if I take, uh, psychoplethoric deterioration. Now here's- now I have a question. Does it not make sense that if I take psychoplethoric deterioration, and then I wait for my evil twin to come to me, I can steal their body? It would be a perfect fit. <laughs> it would be a perfect fit. <laughs> what if they steal your body first? We'd swap bodies, and as a result, I would still be perfectly fine. Like a glove. Yes. Yes. Now, I have decided that I, in fact, will be taking some silly abilities. Now, yes, there are many of these. Yes. There are actually some new ones, I think. An aura of darkness wafts about you, stealing light from the world. You hide your light along with your glimmer. Cast a deep shadow on an area or emit a constant fume of darkness around yourself. Uh, I just need something I can use to kill people, honestly, right now. Am I really about to instantly take precognition even though every time I take it, it actually ends up not paying off for me? Every time I take precog, it is the thing that kills me. Look, let's worry about kill- like something I can use. I mean, Sundermind is- 
Sundermind is like a free... I, we have to take Sundermind, right? Like, Sundermind is like the free DPS move. You, you get into a fucking psycho fight with someone for 10 rounds and you can fucking melt their brain. It's just like a really solid... It's just very solid. Yeah, cool down 80 rounds, but that's not a big deal. Uh, trust me. Uh, let's see here. Time dilation. No, 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 no. Domination, ego projection. No, we don't- we don't fuck with domination after what happened last time. I could... Take disintegration. Combustion blast. Focus psionic energy directly into your mind's eye and release a deadly focused beam of combustible and volatile energy at your foes. Due to the amount of concentration it requires to perform this ability, attempting to project this beam while dazed or confused has fatal consequences. The beam projects itself from the forehead. Attempting to project this beam while wearing a helmet also has fatal consequences. Brain Blast! Dude, we gotta do this. I already fucking have the title for it. Brain Blast! But, here's the thing. Does it make more sense now to take psionic migraines because I can't wear a helmet? I feel like I swapped the psionic migraines. Because I can't wear the helmet anyways. So that's gonna keep me from putting on a hat or a helmet. And now I can Brain Blast. And I still have five points. Yes. Do I want Sundermind? I don't know. Mm, I could take Siphon Vim, take someone's bre- Confusion seems really good. Beguiling is also really good. Hmm. Hmm, Focus Psy. Isn't this the one I need? Don't I need Focus Psy to make this work? No, I don't think so. Hmm. We got to take precog. We got to take precog. We have to. You don't have to do this, tomato. No, no, no. I do have to do this. I do have to do this. Don't you understand? I have to do this. Your consciousness predates on other minds. Devour the animuses of sentient beings as sustenance for a growing psychic in this grander aether and contend with other mass minds. Upon defeating an enemy with higher ego than your own, there is a chance, 10% chance, that you will encode that creature's psyche onto the holograms of your own, gaining plus one to your ego score permanently. Yes. Yes, and now all I need is to be able to sense psychic power. Yes. We will devour psychics. Yes. Very good. Ego. Big. <laughs> Ego. High. Toughness. Big. Willpower. High. Int. Big as well. We want skill points. Skill points is going to be good. Ego is as high as it can go. We're gonna raise our willpower a little bit more and our toughness a little bit more. Agility and strength are nothing to me. Ego, 24. This is good. We like this. Look, Chad, we just have to find people with big brains and eat them. And every 10 and 10% 10 of the time, we will gain. But if your ego is super high, how do you steal other egos? No, 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 Chad, you don't understand. You don't understand. They will come to me. Because they because people out there will sense my ego. And they will come to me. And then when they come to me to devour me, I will devour them back first. The higher your ego, the higher the dangers of the world is out there. 
It's a gravitational effect, yes. I will pull in people with larger egos than mine that want to get me, but I will get them. This is some Highlander shit. When you play high ego in Caves of Cud, you're playing a different game than anyone else. Uh, you're playing... There's a, I'm in a different campaign right now. Next. Yes. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna, like, this is my guy. Big smile. Okay. Uh, his name? Is gonna be... Nude. <laughs> his name is gonna be Nude. Nude. LOL, dude. Now, here's the thing. While I love spawning out in the hills and getting instantly killed by some bird, or spawning out in the deserts and getting instantly killed by some kind of creature, I'll tell you what's really nice, spawning in at Joppa and knowing exactly what the fuck you have to do to catch XP so you can survive. The early levels for me are really hard as an ego guy, so I gotta get whatever XP I can. I gotta soak it up. We go to Joppa. We know how to survive in Joppa. Here we are. Oh damn, so like there's a bunch of new UI stuff. Uh, so I have to like kind of get myself situated a little bit here and also... Okay, focus your psionic energy, channel it to manifest other psionic abilities that require psi. Hang on, so I want to bind some things really quick. Uh, psi is gonna be one. Fire a specified amount of psi energy at a target position. Let's have quick fire, fire, fire a single charge of Psy energy at target position. Where's my... Okay, so that's all part of the mental mutation for the fire thing. Okay, alright. Cool, cool, cool. We have heal. We have menacing stare. Okay. It's not telling me the exact text for some of these things, even though, I mean, obviously I know what menacing stare does. It scares the guy. Heal, heals, etc. Uh... For some reason, it's like omitting some of the things. It's like a newer UI for some of these things. I'm not sure why it's leaving out the details, but luckily I know them. I already know Precog's ability, so it's not a big deal. But, uh... Shunt the... This is the one we need to go through right now. Shunt the imprints of your victim's mind from their body and assume the throne of their vessel. Target makes a willpower saving throw against your ego modifier, which right now is a plus 10 or be shunted from its body. You assume control of the target's body permanently and its int, will, and ego become your own. Your new husk will wither over time. On a successful soul shun, you have a 10% chance to increase ego score by one. If we die suddenly, I'm gonna go back, reload my template and not put any points into strength. Uh, so, okay, so hang on. My ego... It's int, will, and ego become your own. Your new husk will wither over time. On a successful soul shot, you have a 10% chance to increase your ego score by one. So, how does that impact my overall ego, if my ego is really high natural? So, I want to find guys that have... So, I want to find guys that have... I want enemies to come after me. So I can find people that have already higher ego. I want to be grabbing people that are equivalent ego to me or higher so that I can boost it even more off of them. So I don't want to go up and ego hop to some doofus. I want to, I want to get people coming to kill me. All right, this all makes sense. I got this. I also gain their physical stats. Hang on, I just want to bind these things. Okay, fire volley is going to be two. That'll be three. Healing all these will keep here. Sprint is toggled off. Good. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Uh, currently, I am disintegrating, as we can see here. This is the new inventory screen. 
Uh, can I see my active effects? Your body is atomizing before your eyes. It won't last long. Your physical form rapidly disintegrates. Every 600 turns, you must pass a toughness saving throw at a difficulty of 28 plus 1 or lose 0 to 3 points of your maximum HP. Using an Uber Nostrum injector will partially regenerate your lost maximum HP. However, continued use on the same husk becomes less effective. Okay, dude. All right, dude. Cool. Welcome, everyone, to beautiful Joppa. We got a couple of people we need to talk to before we do anything, such as this guy, who's going to tell me to see the six-day stilt up in the north for free XP. We love those. We're going to grab a couple of random quests here, and then we're going to go out and start soaking up XP because nothing else fucking matters right now. What's up, Argive? Yeah, Argive also has quests for us. We're going to talk to him. He's going to send us to go get knickknacks. Uh, we're going to go get him knickknacks from someone's house, though, right now. That's, I feel like, how everyone does it. Uh, so I'm just going to wobble over to the nearest house with a, a chest in it and steal it while no one's looking. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a knickknack. Grab that. Nice and easy. I'm also going to take this armor. Get it? Wow, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. What the fuck? What the heck? Damn, man, there's a lot of stuff in this fucking thing. What's this UI? Uh, the game's been updated. Uh, I'm actually overweight because of how heavy all this crap is. What do I wear for clothes? One and zero. Okay, I might just put on this bronze plate armor. Look, if I get sh I don't want to get fucking shot. Uh, I am going to drop some of this other crap, though. Drop it. Drop a ten of those. Yeah. And we'll also get rid of that. Uh, Jesus. Uh, I don't need a sword. I kind of just stole that for nothing. All right. Yeah, the UI is much better now than I think it used to be. Let me just swing on over and drop this stuff off at our guy. Here's your knickknack. He's gonna give me 75 XP for that. And then he wants me to go get him another, and I'll just go and immediately go do that for free XP. Of course, there's multiple houses, so it's easy to find a knickknack. I can just break right in. There's none in there, so we go to the next house. Give me one second. None in there either. Hang on, I'm just gonna... Take a quick peek around real fast. Already looted that one. Here we go. Here we go. We'll just check one of these. Nothing in there. Fuck, there's nothing in these. Hang on, is there any more chests so that I can sneak around? We may need to just go find him a normal knickknack elsewhere. Damn. Minus three strength carrying capacity. It's okay, I played my D&D hardcore characters. I'm used to not being able to carry anything. And I'm disinter... God, I really am disintegrating, though. We kind of have to adjust... We have, we have to address that at some point, Chet. Look, let's just go out of town and find something that's safe for me to blast. So that I can tell if, um... You know... If I'm gonna get, uh... Is there, like, a fucking... What is the binding that lets me, like, zoom a little bit? I want to zoom a little bit less powerfully. I don't want to zoom in as close as I am with the scroll wheel. I don't remember what the binding is to do that, because I swear there's, like, a middle ground before it's this much. I can't tell now. Hang on. Key mapping. Zoom. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, we'll do it with, uh... That and that. Nope, those. Did that not even save the binding? <clears throat> um, hello. Okay, it's not. That's not gonna matter. All right, fine. Let's test. Uh, let's test my brain powers on this fish. As soon as I make sure I don't have anything on my head. So if I press the. Fire volley button. Let's do quick fire. I should be able to blast this poor fish. Holy shit. What the? I wasn't expecting to watch it disintegrate on screen like that. 
Um, so I charged my Psy energy. I'm back to normal. This is a pretty cool fucking move. I'd like to blast some something else, perhaps even a little bit larger. No, I should have. I should go upstairs and grab the uh, quest to go to Red Rock. Actually, the like the the funny quest, the mandatory one. Uh, this guy, this guy gives me that quest. I'm in search of work. I will go to Red Rock. Okay, we're gonna go north, and I'll blast something up there and see how that goes for me. I think. I would chat. I forgot they added new animations to this fucking game. I want to test this on one of the monkeys. Hang on. So alt lets me see if there's like what creatures are actually around so I can tell like if I'm actually in danger. God, there's a lot of fish over here. This is perfect. I don't really care if these fish hate me. What? Croc. They're running right for me. Hit him with the psycho blast. Nine damage. Ele Jesus Christ. It really is. Um already got my side charges back and everything. Okay, well, wait, where's my sidebar? Hang on, where's my freaking sidebar? Am I crazy? Where the heck did my side? What binding is my side? I'm. I, God, I really wish I'd fucking remembered all the bindings. Where's my side? Do I not have? Did I? You gotta tap forward slash on the keypad. Forward slash. No, that's not doing it for me. Hmm. Uh, let me see here. Burr. Toggle sidebar. Numpad forward slash. Okay. Uh, for some reason it wasn't working before I had to, uh... Okay. We got there. We're good. It's uh, getting pretty dark, though, Chad. Uh, go ahead and equip a torch, I think, before we move on. Yeah. Just so I can see. We're going to keep on heading north towards the Red Rock, which is conveniently right here. 50 XP, and I leveled up. Which means now it's time to mutate a little bit. Uh, we're going to, I think we just... I think we pump it directly into, yeah, I think we pump it right into Combustion Blast. Oh, I can't level, I can't level it until I'm, until I have more, uh, okay. No leveling that right now, but Combustion Blast already feels pretty good. No, nothing to level there. Unstable Genome will activate, uh, when I gain a level sometimes. It didn't that time, so we didn't get anything from Unstable Genome. We are at the Red Rock, though, which is the first dungeon. We're gonna just clear it really fast. Uh. Oops. What's my... What, chat? Someone remind me. Wait, why am I even asking you? Uh. <clears throat> Explore. Explore zone, auto-explore, numpad. This is my favorite button in any ASCII game. Here's when they let me press one button and automatically explore the whole zone. So I can see if there's- STOP RIGHT THERE! Hello. Goat. Let's trade. They have nothing to trade with me. What may I call you, friend? I am called Wyquid. Thank you, friend. Live and drink. <laughs> In hell. Arise, psionic energy! Arise! Oh, cool. It's just a channel. So I don't even need to have... Okay, I've just got toggled on. As long as I'm not moving, it seems like it charges. Cool. What the heck is that? What was... What the... Is that a small rock? <gasps> a monkey! It's a hulking baboon. Wet nostrils flare at the seat of her dropped snout, and furry arms wave in unpredicted motions. Her eyes are full of stony mischief. 
Uh, I'm gonna psychic blast you. And again, goodbye. Uh, see you in hell. Is that another rock? What the? What the fuck is that? What the heck's going on over here? Is there another monkey up here? Where the hell are... What the heck in heck is... Now what the hell do you think you're doing? Psychic Blast! You know who didn't get an unstable genome activation again? This guy. <laughs> I got three fucking levels of it, dude! I got three fucking levels of it, dude! Common Genome L. So far. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna pump our ego. But no, if we pump... Chat. Do my attribute points carry with me if I soul shunt? If we don't get our ego high enough, no one will come to kill me. No, 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 chat. No, 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 no. I think there's a level of misunderstanding. Let's go through the exact terminology of this again, because one of us is misunderstanding this, but I swear I read it right. We keep the strength, agility, and toughness stats of whoever we grab. We take their int, will, and ego. You assume control of the target's body permanently, and its int, will, and ego become your own. Become your own. Or does that mean become your own as in it becomes my, like mine becomes its own? Your, so yours takes over theirs. I keep yours. I keep mine. Okay, that is worded so badly. <laughs> Alright, that's what I wanted to know because I wanted to know if it was worth me actually even putting any points into ego before I jump to someone else. Uh, yeah, we'll do that then. I've never done the soul shunt trait, so... That adds up. Okay, that's fine then. It's time for my ego to rise. 31. So, I want to get this higher, but I need to be higher level. Hmm. This also can't be leveled. We're really kind of just going to get to save our points for a while because we have no reason to spend any mutation points until we've reached a higher level. Uh, because we can't, uh, we can't get a new mutation to level, uh, until we get another one. So we're just gonna get- OH! Pesky beast! Dude, these baboons are good XP. We should keep wandering this place, actually. Any more baboons? Hang on, I actually do want to- Options- Wait, hang on. Key mapping. Zoom. I want zoom to be Z. No, I want, oh God. I want zoom out to be shift Z and zoom in to be Z. Let's do this cataclysm bindings. Yes, that's better. That's also a more gentle zoom like I wanted. So that's better than using mouse. Cool. Some monkey just threw another freaking rock at my head. Boom, psychic blast. Dude, that one's not even fucking close. These guys are actually, like, good XP right now, though. I'm quite happy to be blasting these guys. What's my range? Jesus! Dude! I'm cooking, man. This is a psychic... Like, this is a really strong psychic ability. Boom! Psychic blast! Boom! Psychic blast! And, uh, no, uh... No unstable genome proc, huh? Not one? Not one unstable genome blast. Like, upgrade. Not one. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna buy a new random mutation. Uh, normal style. Yeah. Yeah. So we get to choose one randomly from these three. Ancestral cyanasia. Whether it be exponential instinct or an innate lucidity of the mind, sometimes you accrue knowledge from foreign places in your psyche and gain a bonus to experience. Okay, that's not bad, especially early game. Uh, you confuse nearby enemies. Affected enemies, affected creatures act semi-randomly and receive a minus three penalty to their mental abilities. That is huge for pushing psychic shunt. If we want to jump into someone's brain and steal their 
fucking body, we confuse them first because it's going to set us up. Easy. Siphon Vim. You're, you bond with a nearby organic creature and leech its life force. Hmm. I think we want confusion right now. I think we grab confusion. Yeah, we're going to grab... Got confusion. I'm going to go over and grab some skill points. There's some things we want. Trash divining. Whenever you rifle through trash, there's a 5% chance you piece together clues and learn a random secret. You know I'm grabbing trash divining. Boom. Yup. Yes. We're also going to take, uh, let's see here. I do really want proselytize because it's fucking crazy to tell someone to be your friend and they just join you immediately. But I'll have to wait another level. Probably should have gotten it before I got trash divining, but can you blame me for getting excited? Oh, it's a lovely little Equimax. That's a very tough creature. Oh, and a turtle that's actually mad at me right now. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna blast him. Yeah, I'm gonna melt him. And get my Psy energy back and then uh, move on. Uh, we're getting close now to the cave. We should keep our wits about us. He's gonna explode the horse. Hey, what, are you kidding me? That thing's very tough. I'm kind of worried to do that. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's just the ping the game does now when you uh, ID something. I thought there was a bomb. Pesky tortoise. Boom. And again. Boom. And again. Boom. Very good. We become more powerful every day. Now where is the cave? Horrible creatures. These tortoises. I'm hungry. I need a snack. How do I, what's my camp button? This is going to be a recurring thing where I need to... I know how to play this fucking game, but I have to remember the bindings because every time you play a fucking ASCII game again, you have to remember your bindings. Camp. Uh, rest then. It's rest. Hi, Psycho. Is it fucking camp? Oh, it's a fucking skill. Now I remember. Yeah, it's a skill. It's been a little bit. Camp. Now we're going to whip up a quick meal. Uh, you gather some fixings, a smidgen of rust, a gentle fractured microchip, and the proclaimed chameleon horn. Dude, none of those are edible, but uh, whatever you need to do, we're good. Let's get moving. Oh, it's a doggy. A feral dog. He is a snarling mess of matted hair. He's friendly and not a challenge to defeat. If I... You dare attack my friend. <laughs> prepare thyself! Hang on, I don't have a side chart. Hey, prepare thyself! My full mental capacity blast! Oh, fuck me! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 wait, wait, wait! 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 We're cool, we're cool. We're cool. No, we're not. Wait! 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 Wait, 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 wait! Wait! <laughs> I don't want to conf- I don't want to do any defensive moves to like stun the- you gotta be kidding me, these baboons right now. Dude, I really don't... Okay, the horses have stopped chasing me. I'm just in baboon territory again. <laughs> just leave me alone for one fucking second, okay? I gotta get out of here. Fuck off. Okay? Fuck off. No unstable genome proc, huh? Oh. My. God. 
that dude actually is still chasing me. How long does it take to fucking heal? I don't think I can heal like this. You begin healing. I have just enough time to catch a couple procs of this. How much Psy energy do I have? Eight? I said... WAIT! JESUS CHRIST! No one chases me around. Do you understand? Let that be a lesson to the other horses. I am not someone you just push around. Now give me a moment, I have to charge my psychic power. I'm really glad these monkeys keep missing. I guess I should probably just get out of here, huh? I forgot I had precognition. You guys can uh, fuck off. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh, my Psy energy's back. Okay, I'm just gonna let my Psy energy come back. No, 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 no. What's my... Hang on, one last binding I need to... Re okay, rest until healed. Why isn't this bound already? That's weird that I don't have that bound. Um... Numpad delete. Is that... I don't think that's already on anything else. Yeah. There we go. Just want to make sure that's bound, because that is going to come up at points. Okay, time to kill every single one of these... Cr did you guys just... Did you just run up to me? Whoopsie! <laughs> Whoops! Did a little point blank to kill. Oopsie. Hey, I have an idea. We new game. We classic. We grab our last character. But fuck Scholar. We instantly go Apostle and we go Ego Psycho. Because I really like that combustion thing. I don't, check, here's the thing, I don't like precog because I feel like I forget about it. And when I use it, it's a waste because I end up getting myself killed. So here's what I'm thinking. Instead of precog, which didn't really pay off, we grab ourselves something better. Like for instance, we grab fire missile weapons to the force field, but can I fire Hmm, can I fire my brain moves out of the force field, I wonder? Hmm. Small chance each round for another Esper to steal your powers. I could take Mass Mind so I can tap into Aggregate Mind and steal powers from other Esper. I don't have anything with the cooldown, though, that really matters for it. Uh, let's see here. What I would really want... I think Stunning Force. Or I take Siphon Vim. I might- I think I'm gonna take Siphon Vim. I think I wanna take a healing thing. Yeah. We'll grab that and that gives me enough to take one more thing. And we will grab... Vita Intuitia, which gives me a bunch of fucking metadata. Which might be fun. And helpful. Yes. Very good. You know what didn't help me last time, chat? HP. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what didn't help me anyways? HP when I got hit for 16 damage from my own body, my own recoil. Why would I even invest the time if I'm gonna get soul shunted into another form? Why would I even bother? Nude. More like... More like... Hang on. More like... I'm just looking for a good one. 
shwood. <laughs> Nude? More like shwood. Boom. Back to Jopa. Six HP, huh? He might have made a little mistake. Might have undershot my HP just a little. Hey, it's okay. All I have to do is be real careful. Give me this knickknack. Grab it. I gotta bring this to Argive. Here, Argive. I've got you a knickknack. It's furniture. I'm gonna take this other quest. I'm gonna run over and grab another knickknack really fast. Is everything still bound to where it should be? Yes. Very good. What is in gaze? Gain metadata. Hang on. So, uh, if I pressed M. Oh my God. That's going to be really strong. What with the fact that I have to steal people's bodies. And now I get to know their exact fucking stats before I do it. That's big for me. That means I'll know exactly what I'm fighting against when I need to jump into someone's body. Yes. That is... Nearly perfect for me. Shall we, Chet? Go back up towards the north. Yeah, we just gotta catch some XP. It's okay. Look, we'll go up north. We'll kill some fish. We'll go careful and slow. Don't want to get jumped by a gator. They'd probably one-shot me. Take it easy, maybe just go straight here and immediately melt this fucking monkey. Unstable genome, motherfucker! Thanks for the XP, doofus. That's an unstable genome moment. We got there. Stunning force, that'd be good for me. Pushes creatures away and blasts and deals crushing damage to everyone around me or disintegration, which causes a stun. Hmm, that's hard. I think Stunning Force is better early game. Or I could take Light Manipulation and shoot lasers. But I already have Fire Beams. You manipulate light to your advantage. You produce ambient light within a radius of four. You may focus the light into a laser beam. Doing so reduces the radius of your ambient light by one. Hmm. I think Stunning Force is the best one for me. Early. Because Disintegration stuns me. I think I need something that I can use, especially considering all my stuff I have to, like, charge up to some extent. I'm gonna take Stunning Force. Level 2. I'm also going to immediately... Insert and bind that to four. Fuck off! Frickin' baboon. Look, we're gonna be okay. I just have to be really careful. Where's this hulking baboon to the west? Oh, there they are. What's the range on my... Jesus fucking Christ. It's across the goddamn, like, map. I see another one to the west. I see a hulking baboon, far to the west. Boom! Blast. Still alive? Still alive? Pathetic. Boom! It happened again, baby! Double unstable genome, dude. Back to back, 33%. Could beguile. You beguile a nearby creature into serving you loyally. Mental attack versus a creature with a mind. Success roll. Mutation rank. Or ego mod. Whatever's higher. Plus character level. Okay. It's a range of one. But having... He's gonna take precog? No, I'm not. Dude, I'm gonna take beguile. 
Are you kidding me? Beguile's huge. Beguile means I get some but like I actually have like fucking help in fights and distractions. Uh yeah, we take Beguile. Goes on five. I'm gonna make sure I'm gathering Psy energy. Oh, a monkey! Boom. Okay, we're just gonna kill every single creature on this map to pull XP. Hey chat, my HP went down because of my horrible, horrible soul problem. So at some point, I think if I see... <laughs> enhance. No, enhance even further. Get in there. At some point, if I see any kind of creature, I might just need to grab their body. And no, 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 no. Not the goat. <laughs> Not a goat. No, it can't be the goat. But technically, chat, all of their stats are better than mine. All of them. Their stats are just better than mine. It'd be so easy. I just walk up. No, I think I'd want to find one of those horses. I think the horses would be best. Look, I don't need to do it yet. But soon, I'm. it's going to be urgent that I replace this body. I can't live like this. Hail, traveler. Hail. Goat. I would like to ask you to join me. You fight for me now. I'm on a hunt. For any kind of creature that I can take the body of. I, de I actually overshot to the place I was supposed to be, and now it's dark. Oh, shit. Uh, hang on, let me grab a torch and get that in my hand. Good. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, my! Hold me once. Uh, shame on you. Okay, I'm not about to get owned twice, motherfucker, okay? You're about to get stunning- oh boy. You're about to get- You're about to get- I'm about to run away from you for a second, and then I'm gonna- And then I'm gonna do one of those. <laughs> uh, we're okay. Hey, welcome back. How are you feeling? I see you've been killing uh, monkeys. Man, traveling at night's kind of spooky. You never know what could be out here. You never know what could be going on out here. We just gotta find the way down to the cave. Feel better once I'm in the- Actually, no, I won't. I'll feel really- Probably- Oh, boy. Yep, there it is. Uh, okay. Well, I'm stuck in a web. I'm gonna pay, take a peek down here. Okay, get on in there, goat. See, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get shot by one of those weed guys, and they're gonna instantly kill me. So I'm a little bit not interested in going in there just yet. Kinda just want the sun to come up. Yeah, I think we're gonna make a camp. Whip up a meal, eat it. I'm gonna feed my companions some bark. The tarred goat hungrily eats the witchwood bark. A warm tingling washes over them. Nice. God, we are just covered in nasty fucking... Mom, dude, my health is down to four! I need a body! No! <laughs> oh, you're not good enough! Someone! Someone, please! Please, my brain! My brain! My brain! You'll do nicely! Hang on. I mean, I need to see their stats. 
I don't know if the others are going to get involved if I do this. Hang on, I'm also going to level up a new mutation before I do this, just in case. You distort time around your person in order to slow down your enemies. Okay, that's cool. The Nine Lives Paradox! Of course. Why didn't I ever consider taking the Nine Lives Paradox? All I have to do is find a cat to pet, and I'll be basically unkillable! Take it! Yes. Hang on. I need to level up my ego before I do what I'm about to do. You all understand. It's me and them. The cats hate him? Well, yeah, because I'm, like, killing them to do this. But, like, come on. Chat, here's what I'm going to do. I think the cleanest way to do this is to attempt to beguile one to come with me into the distance. And then... And then I, like, soul shunt when there's none others that can, like, see them and get mad. Because I can't get attacked by anything else while I'm doing this, I don't think. That'd be bad. So first, in gaze, I need to know their stats. Jesus, they got some stats on them. You. No, you over there. No, no, no. Join me! It infuriated them. <laughs> yes, follow me. Yes, chase me. Why don't you chase me and see what happens? Oh, they have to be next to me? They have to be point blank next to me for this. Okay. Stunning strike! Whew. Just a little bit closer. And now... Ha! They resisted it! Forget it! We're dead! Can I try it again? Doesn't say anything that I can't. They resisted it again! Oh, I slapped them with my fucking staff. Uh, but alas. They're resisting it, chat. They're making a saving throw, and they're succeeding every time. No, no, no. So far, they haven't been able to hit. Yeah. Damn! Take me the last. Do it again. Shwood? More like... Shwood not Try that again. <sighs> Damn shame how this played out for me. You know what I mean, man? Soul shot! Sometimes you've got to, like, test out the space. Sh she wouldn't try that again. More like... She wouldn't, she wouldn't try that again, but, like, with a silly face. None of these quests matter. Uh, listen, chat. We are... Ultimately, at the mercy of RNG, and we don't even need to pick up a quest to go to that fucking place, because what we need to do right now is kill monkeys. That monkey almost blew up my whole body. I'm going to expend four charges of my power to vaporize these two in one hit and level my guy up, because they basically hit me so hard. And there's more baboons running to continue to try to kill me, so I'm just going to keep on blasting them from here, and the next baboon I see, I'm going to see if I can just grab their body right away because almost anything's better than what I'm working with. That guy was too far away. I need a baboon that's nice and close. Okay? I see one. They don't know I'm here. Now they know. 
Ow. Fucking ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Stunning force. Good. Got it. Leveled up. Blast that one too close. Aggressive with me. Don't really like that scene. Now I'm getting hungry. Make a camp. Can't while that hostile is coming towards me. Is that a slime? What kind of stats do you have? No ability to dodge, but like... Toughness and everything pretty much the same. I mean, I would certainly be able to take that slime body without much of a concern. Zero ego. He wouldn't be able to resist no willpower either. I would have to become slime. I'm not so pathetic that I would do that. Oh my god, they're still alive. Holy shit, you're still alive? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna soul shunt you. I'm you now. It's me. Well, man, hey, it's been a pleasure. But, uh, sorry. I have 20 HP now. Don't chase me. Hang on, what do you think you're doing? Hang on, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I just made a big mistake. Because all of my stuff was on me. And I just fucking vaporized all of it. <laughs> it's okay, I still have my water. That's all I cared about. And besides, I can't wear clothes. Look at me. I only, I, I don't, I, Chad, I didn't have any clothes to wear on my sensory ganglion. I didn't have one of those. So it's fine. I got my water back. I'm gonna heal. You fucking must be joking. All right, I'm gonna heal now. Now that I have HP. We've got 901 turns to kill. I'm just gonna keep on wandering around now a little bit more confident in myself. Holy shit, you gotta be kidding me. You know who doesn't have sprint anymore? This guy. Because, um, that was a physical ability. So that's a good thing to now know isn't gonna be happening now that I'm a little slime guy. Uh, be a damn shame if I stunning forced you. Hey, how much health do you have? Oh, you're average? You're doing really well? Yeah, I can shoot past me, idiot. Most people don't realize that. But yeah, Chad, I can shoot past me. I just forgot to do that that one time. Hail, Traveler. Blast. Blast. Make sure I'm gathering psi energy. It's time to get a little murderous. I fear no goat, and I am a fun little slime right now. All right? We continue northward. Yes. This is good. I'm really happy with how this is playing out right now. I'm feeling good about this. Oh, hello. Salamander. Blast! Bird! Blast! Leveled up. Level two. Simple as that. We kill everything we see, all right? We don't care. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do now. Um, yeah, we're grabbing prosthetize. Yeah, we're getting that right away. Yep. Buy it. I want people on my team. I want to talk to people. I, as a slime. Hello. Uh, you wouldn't believe how embarrassed I am to have walked up to you like this, but would you mind joining my team and coming with me? You're my friend now, and that guy who used to be your friend, he's nothing to you. Matter of fact, he's dust. What's your name? Boar. Next to his pig Kus Kusian's wild time has shorted his ears, pushed canines through his jaw, and dressed him in a scratch hair coat. He roots in the ground for jewels. Okay. Well, welcome to the team, little- Oh! I almost feel bad. Oh! Did I just blast myself by accident while panicking? 
I think I blasted myself because I technically didn't have a target. That's weird. Huh. Well, she wouldn't try that again. Hee <laughs> hee. Look, we'll just kill these boars. Clear these ads. For some reason, these guys do not provide anywhere near as much XP as those, uh, the monkeys. So, um, kind of want to get the fuck out of here and back to Red Rock. Which is apparently here. Where's the cave? There's got to be a cave around. There's a monkey. Die. There's a monkey. Die. Oh, and the slime was also there. Now they're dead. See, this is lovely. Yes. And there's the way down. We'll take the stairway down. Oh, hello. There's a bat. Full of evil. And now dead. And somehow I lit another bat on fire behind this. What? Wait, how? How did I... Wait a minute, chat. How did I... Does this pierce walls? Cause, um, that's, uh, can I, I don't want to test that again. Oh, hell, snap jaw. Wait a minute. This makes it look like that dread root is going to fucking technically impact with the blast if I do it. I don't want that. I don't want to get owned here. Hang on. We're going to stunning blast. I said we're going to stunning force all this up here, including my pig, if I must. Step aside. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ, why is it exploding like that? Is this just how it is? Is this like explode? Jesus. You're telling me if I fire this thing down hallways, it just explodes everything in the tunnel? That's fucked. How the hell does anyone sur- Dude, are you kidding me? I still do nine damage in melee. Like, I'm not a pushover. Like, I'm an actually, like, balanced character as a slime. You don't understand. You need to get the fuck away from me. There's a slimy bat. Help me, pig. Thank you. Oh, look, it's a little spider. You know, I'm realizing now I should go back and actually pick up the quest for this place because I didn't even think that I'd, like, survive. Honestly, when I, like, said I was going to do all this, I kind of just... Holy shit, you got to be kidding me that you just took that swing at me when my friend the pig is here to defend me. That's fucking dumb of you. Yeah, this slime's pretty tough. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go back to Joppa quick and just grab the quest. Why? Oh, yeah. Everyone thinks I'm a slime. <laughs> I'm not. Guys. Guys. I'm not a human anymore. I'm a slime. Let me live. Let me live. Let me live. <laughs> Let me live. Well, I mean, that's Warden Walreg. He's not going to let me live, and I don't have a sprint, so my best option right now is... Soul Shot! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. God damn it! <laughs> Guys, come on. I'm just a silly little slime. This is just... That was, that was bullshit. I didn't walk up with any intent to kill or hurt, and they came at me. I'm going to random my name again. My new name is going to be Mugatep. No. Tiormum I Shwam Shwum Sweet Yam. It's going to be Yam. And you know what? If we're going to be living in a soul shunt world, I don't even know why I talk to any of these people because they all hate me anyways. I'm going straight to Red Rock. 
We're gonna get some kills. I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna make a friend. We're not gonna make the same mistakes anymore. Wait, we just did this. Yeah. It's uh, called what happens when you play a roguelike. Of any kind. Or any kind of game like this with permadeath. It's sometimes you do the same thing again. Because it's still the most beneficial way to approach the game. Yep. That's how it works. I just gotta find myself a couple of baboons. Who needs precog when you can just do a new game? Dude, chat, fucking take it easy. I takes me like fucking three seconds to be back to where I was last time. Relax. Okay, I was ripped to shreds by scavengers that time. Now watch this. Last. Boom. 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 Literally, I'm back to where I was in 10 seconds. Literally, watch this. Boom, I'm back. Oh, there we go. Just gotta kill some stuff to catch my XP. Just have to level up first, that's all. Then stuff will get nice and easy again. You just gotta catch we gotta catch some levels. We gotta switch to a slime. We gotta get we gotta get on in there. I can't fucking see. I should put on a goddamn torch if I'm gonna go inside the cave. I don't even know how I feel about going into this cave, though. Jesus Christ! It really does bounce along the whole thing, huh? Yeah, I killed myself. Hey, but look, chat. Maybe I should go back to soul to my brain sunder because being indoors sucks. That, or I accept that maybe I have to boost my toughness. All quests first. Nah, the only- look, the problem is, chat, that my HP is so naturally low that we're kind of playing a sight- Is this guy fucking following me? I think the only quest that I would gain credit for no matter what is taking the six-day stilt one, because I can technically go all the way north and grab that without getting, like, in huge trouble. If I don't get horribly lost along the way. Did I just have a pop-up that just said I died while walking? Was that because of the soul thing? <laughs> We have to find a body! <laughs> He's so pathetic. You guys, look, fast forward in two hours and your tune is gonna change. Cause, um, that's how this game works. Hey man. What's going on? Uh, do you mind if I just take a quick peek at something? Nice toughness. I'm you now. And you, well, you're dead. Goodbye. We're taking my water skin now. Thanks. Why did my water skin not come with me? There it is. Grab it. Grab it. See, chat? Now I've got plenty of HP. See? Isn't that great? We're fine now. Matter of fact, I know how to farm now. Ah, yes. Now I know how to farm. Isn't that nice? Isn't that kind of fulfilling? Look, let's do a loop around the perimeter of this place, because there's probably more guys. And I don't think any of them know... Look, none of them would have seen what happened. Right? Yeah, they don't know. They're friendly to me. They think we're good. Yeah. Boys, great seeing you today. Always great to see your fellow farmers. Yep. See, now I can head on north. Look, we'll just... Listen, here's what we'll do. We'll just loot the fucking... That's who we'll body jump to. We'll go grab the quests in Jopa. We're gonna body jump... To anyone. Any one of the farmers, because they're easy. Okay, that's how we'll do it. Though I'm not gonna do the... I, mean, I might as well try to do the Argive quests. Considering I can just grab this in like 10 seconds. Get it. Grab another one of those, too. Okay. Yeah, we can just hand this in really quick for a free 50 at least. 
There. Nice. Grab the other one. Hold up. If I must. Alright, let's go. Well, the sun's gonna be setting soon, and when it does... Oh god, it's a gator. Okay. We'll probably hang tight over here. Till the sun comes up. Hang on, what's my binding for, like, waiting? Uh... Wait menu. Control numpad delete for wait 100. Okay. Good, that'll progress time for me. All right. Tomato, you have a family now. Yeah, but I don't care because eventually I'm going to jump out of this guy's body. Matter of fact, I'm already ready to do it because my guy died overnight. I have to go pick up another farmer to eat soon, chat. Chat, my HP has been dwindling while I've been doing this. Chat, I literally have to go kill another guy. ASAP. Damn, I was gonna fucking blast that gator. Guys, if I don't find another farmer to eat soon, I'm gonna be really miserable. Holy shit, Baboon County. Everyone, just relax. Okay. It's great XP. All I'd have to do to claim most of their lives is do this, then that, then boom, then aim right for the middle if this fucking goat would move. Oh, they're aiming for the goat. No, now they're aiming for me. Most of them missed. This goat's really stupid. God, get out of my fucking way. See? There we go. Instant level. And again, because they all chain reaction exploded. And now I fucking leave. I leave now. We don't even get involved. Well, we get a little involved. I'll let my psi powers regenerate while that monkey, while these monkeys kind of chase me around. I don't know why my psionic thing wasn't enabled anymore, but it is now. Let ourselves heal. I'll blast these guys to say, excuse me, and get myself some fucking XP and level up. We don't have to jump bodies yet, chat. Yes, I'm withering, but come on. Come on. We're gonna be fine for a little. Om. Your genome enters an excited state. Would you like to spend four mutation points to buy a mutation before rapidly mutating? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Stunning force. Okay. We like stunning force, but I don't know if I want to do it again. Hydropartuma. Through sheer will, you shake the moistened air and conjure a deluge of streaming water. Create a cone of surging water in front of you. Enemies in the torrent are pushed back and take damage. Uh, that's not bad. I might even do that. Serpentine form. A long, thick, prehensile tail. Any mutation ones are useless, uh, chat, because we're not going to be able to keep them. Remember that, so don't even look at that. Doesn't matter. Take water. Yeah, I'm not going to be in this body forever. This is a level of those things, not really. What is this dude? Is this dude, like, good stats? Hang on. Holy heck, that's who oo ee wee the Ten Ring Baboon King. Nice willpower. Would be a shame if someone were to take your brain from you. Come to me, hooey wow Ha! 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 I am king now. I am Yam, otherwise known as Hu 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 The King of the Monkeys. 
Yes. 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 <laughs> yes! Let me just pick up some of my shit. Very good. Come, chat. We have much work to do now. Mm, I think it's time we invest in some skills soon. Specifically in our negotiating. Don't you, don't you agree? Pick up the menacing stare. Hmm. Wait a minute. Holy shit. If we open with berate before... Dude! Hold up. If we open with berating someone before we try to take their brain, they have a minus four to their defenses. If I talk shit to someone before I take their brain, they're going to feel so bad about it that they'll be unable to resist the shunt. Take berate. I need to find someone's brain to, like, absorb some juice from. Hail, my brothers. These are my friends, actually. We're all friends. Hello. Ooh, ooh. I am Yam, friend. What is your name? My name is Ooh, ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Pleased to meet you, friend. Let us trade. They have nothing to trade. We don't have... Things we own. We're simple. Hang on, I'm going to, um, life drain this fish. Your vim is mine. Yes. Is that a melee only move? I guess it is. Yeah, I guess it's a melee only thing. Well, if it's really high level, it probably won't matter. Anyways, chat, I noticed some ruins nearby. I'd like to investigate that. Here we are. See, I'm feeling pretty good about my odds of survival, what, with 107 HP at this level in this area. So, that's pretty cool. Did I take a whole chest by accident? I, um, well, I meant to open that. I didn't uh, mean to take it. I will take all the things out of it, and then I will, uh, drop it. Which is weird, because when I look in my inventory now, I don't see all the things I took. Oh, probably because they're fucking trinkets. There they are. They're there now. Uh, drop the chest and get that out of there. This monkey will investigate these small boxes and find out what they do. Examine. That's a box of crayons. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna draw. What do you want to draw? A smile. Please. In red. Right there. I don't see it on the thing. Hang on. No, 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 no. Draw it again. After I investigate what this is. What is this? Uh, it's a plastic tree. Keep it for now. And this, I swear to God, this looks like a chair. Yep. That's a chair. So I got two box of crayons. I'd like to draw again. Okay, let me uh, just... We must explore this place. What is that? An albino ape! I don't feel like we're friends as a result of your whole... So that's tough to me now. But let me in-gaze quick. What are your stats? Oh. It's tough based off of level, but I can tell you one thing based off of my stats. This dude is going to crumble like a fucking sack of potatoes if I blast him. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with a, uh... 
hit him with a menacing stare, first of all. Uh, so they're overwhelmed by terror. And then I'm going to hit him with a fucking blast. I'm hitting a rock right now, I see. It's a fucking rock. There it is, yep. There it is. And the ape is gone. 300 XP in the bank. Brain blast. Yeah, this is a good brain blast build. Am I enemies with fucking glow pads? Be gone! Then die. 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 You're still alive. Die. It's still alive. Die! How many times do I... Die. Ain't no way this dude's still alive. How much fucking health do you have? Alright, he's gone now. That was a powerful glow pad. Alright, this place seems to be clear. Not much of anything going on now. Aside from these glow pads, which honestly... Kind of just worth avoiding them, I feel like. Listen, chat, we don't have... We actually do have a lot of time before our character dies of uh, his soul being shunted now that we are an incredibly powerful monkey. But, um, I mean, I'm going to be real. I don't think I can show myself in town. <laughs> so, like, I am in a situation currently where I don't really know... Like, I'm going to have to just be kind of silly and kill a bunch of stuff. I think I go deep into the depths. I think we take uh, the red rock path and we just kind of roll with it in the sense that like we are, oh my God, these dread roots really think they're gonna fucking do it to me. Like we're we're pretty strong. I think I just kind of safely walk through this place with melee punch build. What is this fucking Azure puff book? Get away from me. Fire some shots in there. That got me 575 XP killing something in there. There is a level of like, I know there's like poisonous mushrooms and stuff in this game that can like horribly fuck up your character for life, but I feel pretty good in that I also don't really care too much because I get the option to switch bodies. And we leveled up. I'm gonna take that and uh, see what we can get. Not much of anything right now. Kind of just roll in with whatever we have. Can I level up my combustion blast? No. Basically, the only thing that's... Is this, anyways? It's like the spores. Yeah, I'm not going to breathe that. Do I have any weird effects from that, actually? Because I definitely was breathing it. <laughs> Skin flakes and itches? Is something growing there? Mm. Hey guys, I think I might have some kind of mushroom disease. Guys, I think there might be some kind of mushroom disease currently going on with me. I don't want to say I'm like getting sick, but um, I might be getting freaking sick. Can you fucking die? Hostile, impossible, brooding rose puff. Who, what is- Dude, this is supposed to be the starting dungeon. What do you mean I'm fighting impossible mushrooms? Impossible? Hang on. Let me take a look at you. What level is this dude? I mean, I'm gonna kill you. Not much they can do about it. If I'm like around the corner. I'm hurting myself. There we go. I do want to make a camp and uh, rest for the night. Eat some food. Do I have night vision on this character? Damn, dude, I got fucking straight up weapons. Jesus! My dude's got masterwork melee weapons and shit. This monkey does not fuck around. This place is all these mushrooms. I'm already infected. Look, I've already got some kind of fungal disease. I'm probably dying. But it's just itchy skin, and by the time that it matters, I'm going to be switching characters, aren't I? Hang on, I do kind of want to check out the torrent. 
Water Blast! That didn't actually make anything easier for me at all. Well, there's a level of I am the greatest danger to me in these places currently. Uh... Will you just fucking die already? This fucking... This goddamn mushroom, dude. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of it. Die. Die! Okay. Oh my god, what is... This fucking place? I leveled up again. Dude! <laughs> this monkey's full of so many spores, man. He's mostly mushroom now. My skin's growing all kinds of weird stuff. I've got like six different mushrooms growing on me now. And there's still more. Die. 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 Dude, I think some of my weapons are melting. From like the heat of this fucking place. Will you fucking die? Ouch. I blasted myself there. But I'm okay. A dead end. Thankfully, I have enough health now where I can accidentally blast myself and it's not a huge issue. This place is shit. What the? This isn't even... Did my guy just stop because this looked like a dead end? Because there's a fucking... Spotted shag spook sitting here? What's my force attack button? All right, control. Fucking Christ. Die! Getting sick of it! Open! Better not see more of those. I'm checking to see if there's more cave. There isn't. Better not run into more mushrooms. Oh, thank God. You guys are okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this place? Chat, what is this? Dude, I wouldn't try it. Water Blast! This place is a fucking actual shithole. I don't know how I feel about being in here now. This place is just mushrooms. Forever. I mean, they're great XP. If I can find a place to, like, stand and blast them. Dude, fuck off. You're like nothing. You're worth 5 XP. Just gotta be careful to watch when I get XP so I don't accidentally blast myself next. God, these poor bastards. Hi. Goodbye. I mean, it's great XP. I'm not gonna complain about getting... Whoa, who's this? Snapjaw brute and friend to fungi. <laughs> Looks like you're no friend of mine then. It idiot. Uh, life drains you. Devours your soul. We actually don't like fungus here. We aren't fans of that. Goodbye. Dude, all of the damage I take on this character is my own recoil. You're being watched. It's a familiar feeling when someone has watched you in the past, when it's light that's betrayed your presence. You've made a friend of the darkness. You pulled your hat brim low over your eyes. You stepped behind the cover of a thatched wall. But those who watched you now who watch you now and watch in spite of such simple obstructions, their sight isn't mediated by the rays of a gleaming star or torch, but by something much older. If there are ways to conceal yourself from these seeing eyes, if there are new kinds of darknesses to befriend, you know nothing of them. How cool I leveled up. 
<laughs> cool. Cool. Nice going, Yam. Nice going. Chad, it's okay. Uh, we're gonna be all right. Yeah, I'd like proselytize, but I also think, um, yeah, no, we need that. We need friends. Now, let me also check my mutations. We have four mutation points. And I'm starting to build up some of that psychic glimmer. I've been cleaved in twain. My psychic glimmer is strong within me. I'm glimmering. I'm going to spend my mutation points. Uh, sunder mind. An aura of darkness wafts around you, stealing light from the world. Okay. I kind of... Glimmer reduced by 50%. That would let me... That would let me hide some of my psychic abilities. Uh, if I use... If I use this. I think. Or I could take Sunder Mind and challenge people to brain fights. Or I take Sunder Mind and I melt people's brains from across the map before they even know I'm there. That's a hard decision. Kind of like Sundermind. We're going. We're gonna have dream duels, Chad. <laughs> Chad, we're really gonna have dream duels. That's how. That's literally how it works. Duels in the dream realm. I'm fucking shining. Ow, oh, fuck! I've had enough of you, Sundermind. Oh, okay. Brooding Azure Puffs don't have minds. I'm so tired of lighting myself on fire and being totally fine and okay with it. Albino monkey braid broken. Who cares? This thing... Good God, these... That's it. I'm killing you with melee. It's easier. Why would I even use the fucking... Brain Blast anymore? For mushrooms, it takes forever. It doesn't mean anything. Boom. I'm only, I mean, the Azor Puffs are the things. Hello. What are you? Wet horned chameleon waiting in the water. Die. Die. I really am at a point where nothing down here can really threaten me, but all of a sudden something's going to instantly kill me. It's probably going to look like a giant rock. People who know, know. <laughs> at some point, a giant rock is going to come alive and fucking break me in half, and that'll be how I go. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a bow. Take that. A fancy bow. Knowers no. We don't, we want to be real careful. Anyone that's a knower knows what that means. Best keep our wits about us. Guys, come on. I mean, then again, I might be able to take a rock. You spot a honey weep. Oh. Oh. That's a lovely little honey weep. What is this? Air wells. A basin full of fresh water. I'm going to help myself to some of that. Might even drink some. I'm too messy now. Ah, yes. And I'll fill the rest into my water skin. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get the rest. I'm going to get it. Collect the liquid. Did I just take the whole basin? Is that what I accidentally did? Jesus Christ, my strength. Dude, I am extremely powerful. And now I'm level nine. The honey wheat refuses to speak to me. Why? Well, how about how about uh how about we deal with that right now by me convincing you to be my friend? What the fuck? You're hostile to me! Then die. Then. <laughs> then perish. How much health do you have? Perfect health? Still? Dude. 
Okay. Now I should probably like collect all this. If I had an extra, if I had an extra, uh, extra. Actually, I could if I, if I poured all this out, I could fill it all up in this basin. No, but that's fresh water. I'm just gonna get this and fill all of this. I'm just gonna put it all in the basin. And I'm gonna kill this thing. Honey, delicious honey. Pure honey. I'll leave it in case it makes more honey, because honey is good. We do, we do really like honey. Yeah, we like honey. Actually, don't set it to auto collect just in case uh, it take, tries to take some of the. Uh, whoa! Who the hell are you? Snapjaw warrior. Okay, bye. And a feral dog. We're reaching the Snapjaw's camp now. We're deep within their realm. Ooh, is that clothes? I don't own any clothes. Should I wear clothes? Maybe I should, like, put clothes on. Yeah, this monkey could- I could wear some clothes. There's nothing stopping me from wearing clothes. You know? Chat, maybe it's time that I start, you know, caring about this character. They're gonna last a long time. Like, yeah, they are- They are- They are not deteriorating as quickly as the last guys, I'll tell you that much. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Cult of Agolgut. Cultist of Agolgut. Uh, covered in uh, some kind of stinking robe. Hey, bud. Think about this, though. Why don't you join me? Unconvinced by my pleas. Okay, then, um... I'm sorry about what's about to happen. Deluge! I hit him with so much water, he instantly died. Well, I found what's been eating the water vine. It was this spider. Technically, I'm supposed to take it with me. However, uh, I don't think they're going to care when I go back because they're going to be like, that's a monkey. The fucking water moves pretty fun. I'm being shot at. There's some weird warbling happening over there. Just gotta back up and heal. Just kind of take it easy for now. We just want to keep getting levels. Nothing else matters. But these caves are good. They're good for actually, like, I don't know, just like fucking soaking up XP. Some stuff is worth quite a bit down here. Not so much the uh, snap jaws. They are, they're doofuses. But, uh, oh, oh, there, scrap clad hermit. Who exactly are you that would dare approach me? Sunder mind! Oh. Oh. That was supposed to be more of a fight. There's like someone shooting lasers at me. But they're not a very good shot. Is it you? The glow moth? I think yes, it was the glow moth. Okay. Spiders. Jesus! Turning up the game audio a little bit. I like the ambience down here. Deep inside the caves. We're going to stay in these caves for quite a long time, chat. For, well, there's not much for me up there. Is there? A monkey! <laughs> a giant gorilla! 
My god, look at the size of them! And someone just threw a sword at us. I think it was that... And a giant eyeless crab! And I'd like to hire you. Can you come with me? Unconvinced by my pleas. Well, then I don't know what to say to you. Deluge! None of you seem to understand. I am the king of the depths now. I am the king of the depths. <laughs> no one else. Pathetic. That guy lived? Huh. A true warrior. Well, for about one extra second. I'm getting hungry. That's a wet snap job warlord. Okay. Sunday mind. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a camp. As soon as this knoll worm chills. Okay, now I'm gonna make a camp. As soon as whatever else is near me chills out. Are we... Okay, there's still something near me that's making a deal. Like a big deal about all this, so I'm gonna let them show themselves. Oh. All of this is trash to me. Jesus, this fucking place. So, I'm too- dude, I'm like just catching- who is this? Bloody Graugau Fumbomo, the fleet-footed snapjob bear baiter. Huh. Bear what? Look, we are enemies, but I am going to see what your stats are. Allow me to peek into your- oh, Jesus fucking Christ, are you kidding me? You live like this? Holy shit. Hmm. Well, uh, look, uh, here's the thing about all of that. Um, I'm going to sprint away from you. I'm gonna, like, walk away. I I'm just gonna do it from here, actually, because I don't really care. I'm gonna sunder your mind. Yes. I'm now despised by Snapjaws. Oh. Well, good news is the villagers of Shumrod like me. <laughs> I I'll li I'll- I OW! Who the hell are you, idiots? You mind? Still waiting to make that camp. Any day now, everyone will give me a fucking second. Can we all chill? Can I make a camp? Nope. Okay. Everything in this cave must die before I will be able to rest. That's fine. Dude, I'm just like, people are getting hit by the fucking recoil, like the explosions. I don't even know half the time if there's something in the room that I'm blasting. I'm just getting people just turning to dust from around the corners. Am I good? No, there's more people here. Die. I leveled up. I killed like three more guys by accident. Is there anyone? Still another guy. Die. Still another guy. Die. Die. Oh, a wrist blade. Cool. I'd sell that if I had a reason to- Ooh! An engraved bone dart! Cool. I'm learning all kinds of things about a world I'll never return to because I fear the surface. Because of how it will shun me for the way I am. This is getting silly. Uh, when am I gonna get a break? Is it over? Have I extincted this land? Why is he a monkey now? I found a monkey boss and I decided to make him my new main. Uh, I swapped to him, I stole his brain and uh, ejected him and then killed him in my original body. As you do. So now I am monkey. And the original monkey is no more. As you do. <laughs> As was always foretold. I just need something that's a threat. I need something that's actually going to challenge me. 
Dude, I'm not chasing that guy through the water. Oh, it goes deeper. I'm just waiting for some kind of, uh, you know, psychic warrior to show themselves. What the fuck are you? Die? Soon. Who's that? Hang on, that's a person. Trash monk. Not much of a person. Mm, perhaps we do head back to the surface, chat. Maybe... Maybe we return back to the surface now. What do you think? Jesus, there's a lot of guys out here. Hello. I really want someone to just be my friend down here. What about you? All right, gators on my side. Let's go. What the fuck is that? Giant centipede nest. Yeah, I'm about to give that the fucking deluge, dude. Yeah, right. Oh, apparently the deluge stopped. Well, the nest is gone. And so is my friend the gator. Fuck! I didn't think they just... I didn't know it was gonna play out like that. I didn't know the gator would like run into the... Oh, they died. I, I guess I didn't kill them. That was a different gator. And then they died. What the fuck are you? Sprouting orb. Yeah, I ignore that. Hmm. Yes. Oh, hello. Scrap clad hermit. I've decided I'm going to devour your life force. Yes. And goodbye. Mimic. This awful chimeric beast is known to take a number of forms to fool its prey, though no one knows whether it truly assumes those forms or merely tricks the minds of its quarries into believing it so. I'd like to take a quick peek at your stats. Hmm. 23, 27, 20. Higher toughness, which is the most important thing to me. Still worse than a monkey. Still actually worse than a monkey. But... I would likely win the fight in a brain fight. And we'd get its ability, I think, if we took it. It also has resistances to elements. I shame the Mimic. I approach the Mimic. It resisted my attempts? Well then it seems we have nothing more to talk about. Deluge. It's a shame there's no other way. It's a shame there's no other way we could have found peace. I sunder the Mimic's mind for 60 HP in a single rotation. A shame. What the fuck are you? Drillbot. Yeah, get away from me. Yeah, get away from me. 300 XP. We're starting to enter a place with XP. People live here. That's good for us. Do you hear that? Oh, hello. Hey, I want you to join me. Thanks. You're my new best friend. We're gonna go on all kinds of adventures. All right, great. Got some books here. Uh, absorb that. There you go. There you have it. Good. We're not even going to read that one. Huh. Alright. We carry onward. 
Honestly, I'm mainly just looking for humans. EMP Miner Mark 1, stilt pistons fire an alternating quattro and toad. The miner and her minds in esoteric patterns. But you shoot EMPs? Who the fuck is that guy? Wet Haberdasher, very tough hostile. I don't trust it whenever it says very tough. I need to check with my own fucking stat block. Okay. Uh, well, how would you feel about having, well, your mind sundered? Die! 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 They were only worth, like, fucking 20 XP. Kinda lame, actually, for how much toughness they had. My croc died to a plant. What do you think you're doing to me? You're pathetic. If you believed that could contain me. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna punch that. Get that out of there. Jesus, there's a lot of these. I mean, Combust Mind, let me tell you what's going to happen with Combust Mind, chat. We're going to have a fun time, and then I'm going to accidentally put a helmet on. And then my head's going to blow up. We already know what happens. You are a scourge upon Cud right now. I'm in a cave. I'm barely even on Cud. I mean, like, yeah, it's about the caves of Cud, but, like, I mean, I could be doing a lot worse if I was on the surface. Like, they're lucky I'm not up there. They're lucky I'm biding my time. Okay? They should be thanking me. It could be worse. You've contracted glow crust on your feet. And what, pray tell, is glow crust on my fucking feet? Doesn't talk about it. But I'm not about to worry about it then, if it's not gonna even tell me. Sorry, Chad. It looks like I got some kind of crust on my feet. Don't really know how to deal with that yet. I'll take this staircase up. Whose glowy toes are those? Jesus Christ, this place is a war zone. I I really am at the point where I just bl like choose to blow my character up because it's more convenient for me to just clear it as fast as possible than it is to like one like tap everything one time to kill them. Like I can just take the hit. Whoa! What the hell was that about? Is there some kind of psychic warrior here that I should know about? I was up there when it happened. Oh, yonder bush. I think this thing actually teleported me, as the name may imply. The fuck was that? Am I getting shot at? Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. I leveled up. Apparently, there's guns out here. There's like actual turrets. Day. Will this take me to the surface soon? I feel like I'm getting close to the surface. I feel like I'm gonna get like spat out in front of like a fucking town and they're all gonna like rip me to shreds as they do. Wow, there's lots of sh bullets being shot around. I can see them in the distance. Oh, there we go. How much deeper... What fucking level am I on? Oh, a cat! Oh, there's a kitty cat over here. Hello? Ray cat, hello. I am Yam, friend. What may I call you? Nenya Roof. My thanks. What are your stats? What kind of stats do you have? 
Oh, you're pathetic. Goodbye. I have no time to waste on pathetic creatures. Only the strongest of beings will I spend time acknowledging. What the fuck are you? What the fuck was all that about? Blast them. It's been pretty nice that uh, no um, psychic warriors have shown up so far to rip my head off. While I've been doing this leveling down here in the depths. Already level 11. Really no trouble at all. That was a high explosive miner and it didn't even get a chance to do anything to me. Look, I'm just looking for a way back out of the caves now. Dude, get away from me. Get away. Who even are you? Deluge. Get away from me. I don't have time to deal with these mushrooms, dude. What the hell? Whoa! Re a wet croc and friend to fungi. I wonder when, if I'll, like, because I got, like, dusted by spores at one point. I wonder if at any point I'm going to become a friend to fungi. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I fucking hate slug snouts, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Actual piece of shit creatures. Like, that's like a run ender when you're early game. Slug snouts. Man, there's a lot of creatures that don't seem like they're friends to the fungi. Oh, an asphalt weep. Well, we're not gonna fuck with that. Although, I feel like asphalt sells pretty good. It's not like I have any, um... Way to talk to people or trade. Most humans hate me. They hate what they can't understand. Actually, I guess I should be killing these. But they're worth like 575 XP a pop. I'd be leveling much faster if I was killing every single fungi I see. You. Guy. You. Oh, that one's fine. We have to be reaching the surface soon, chat. We have to reach the surface soon. There can't be much more. There has to be a way out of this cave. Other than, like, unlocking teleportation. But this goes down, which kind of sets me back up to be, like, really far away from... I don't know, I'm freaking... I'm kind of freaking lost. I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of freaking lost, and there's a bunch of these freaking plants that just keep on pissing me off. Like, stop making walls. Okay, I'm fine. Jesus, it's a fucking party out here, dude. How much longer must I travel to this cave before I'm finally free? I want to go back to the surface. Chat, I want to go back to the surface so I can shop around for a human body to take. The tomato is like Captain Ginyu. I really wish I hadn't said human body I can take before you said that because it really makes me seem, yeah, a lot more like a... Is that a wet voider? What the fuck? Anxious legs grown longer in the vacated space around it. Ply... The mineral dirt, a drop of gastric flux, sloshes inside its stomach orb, powering its instinctual rotation of the local lay. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna hit you with a um, mental blast. I hit myself with most of it, but it, I, I, trust me, you're gonna be getting the worst of it in a second. Boom. And again. Boom. And once more. Boom. Go to hell. Don't even know what you guys did. I need to make a camp. Yummy. A delicious meal for me. Did I accidentally start a horrible fire? What is that growl? You guys hearing that? There's like a horrible growl happening. I missed the surface. Back where things made sense. I'm running out of food and water. Don't you see? A 
time will come when we no longer have a way to sustain ourselves. There's a lot of fucking guns around, I'll tell you that right now. Musket turrets, more XP, I mean, I'll take it. Get the fuck away from me. Well, who is throwing all those knives over there? Get the fuck away from me. There must be a way out of this place. The greenery is getting more green. So we must be getting close to the exit of this horrid cave. Or it goes down more. It's kind of hard to tell. What's that? What the fuck is that? What is that? Shrine to Missae. The Eminent Scroll. I don't know what the fuck that means, nor do I care. What the fuck? Salt Hopper. Yeah, that's gonna be a deluge for me. Get out of my face. Boom. I'm gonna heal. My health is oddly low because I had to blast that fucking thing. This, this goddamn nest is being really annoying. It's not letting me rest. There's a lot of centipedes around. There we go. How many more centipedes are gonna pour in here and kill themselves? It's really quite interesting how many centipedes there are in this. There's gotta be another nest down here. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off! Jesus Christ. Okay. Let me rest. Good. We're almost out of this place, chat. Don't lose hope now. That is a scary sound. Like some turret blasting centipedes or some crap. And uh, what is that purple shit? What the fuck was that? Wine? Who is that? Arcanaut. I'd like to know what your stats are. Not that I think I'm gonna need it, but I'd like to know what your stats are. Oh, terrible. That's the kind of person we activate a Sunder Mind on just to kind of get rid of from here. Goodbye. What is that? Jesus Christ, something's really trying to blast me. Oh. It's you, the trash monk. Okay, bye-bye. Wait. Oh, you're friendly. Hi. Found anything good? What may I call you, friend? Hi, you cat. This dude actually has things. I can trade... I can trade for some fucking water. Which is good because I'm, I'm running out of water. That was like an issue. So I can sell this book. Good. We're not gonna die of thirst. I was getting a little worried about that. Okay. Um, look, I also want to check what this is. Let me examine this. Compass bracelet. What the? That would have been really helpful for knowing which way I was going, so I wouldn't have been so lost. I mean, then again, I guess I always know which way I'm kind of going. Why am I lush? Wait, what the fuck does that mean? Hang on, how long have I been lush for? Oh, wine. I'm still got itchy skin too. Y'all ever just walk over a landmine and burn acid into your body? Y'all ever do it twice in a row? Your feet. What do you mean, my feet? Oh! What the? Rhyme-dotted nodules crust over the infected skin, where an algid mist clings. 
The fungus colony has terraformed the epidermis into what looks like a miniature range of ice-capped peaks. Plus 10 cold resistance. Plus 200 rep with fungi. Minus 200 rep with a consortium of phyta. Cool, man. I got fungus legs. I just don't know why you thought you had a chance, little guy. Uh, yeah, I'll attack this shrine. I don't care. Maybe I'll beat the shit out of almost anything if I think it might give me XP. I fucking hate you. How you feeling now, doofus? Fine. I don't have time. I just keep stepping on landmines. I can't help myself. We will be leaving this place. We are making it farther every day we get deeper into the cave, and every day we become more powerful. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's a mimic. You dare? Deluge! Sunday mind! Who do you think you are? Just go ahead. Surround me, the lot of you. See how that plays out for you. Come closer so I can siphon your vim. Boom! Fools! Next time, have some goddamn respect. Pathetic. A whole lot of them. I'm almost level 13. Are you special? No, you're just some warrior. Boom. They only give me one XP chat. Snapjaws are basically dirt to me at this point. I have no interest in them. I should just be ignoring them. They're like actual trash to... Never been a very big fan of uh, tumbling pods. They don't do a lot of damage or anything, but I have to find their source, so they're gonna keep doing it. Hell, travelers. Hell, what is your name? Who are you? This dude sells a bunch of trash. Look, I only have one thing to ask. Jeez, I got a lot of psychic glimmer. Since when did I have multiple arms? When did that? When now? When did that start happening to me? That's crazy. I guess that's my monkey thing. Yeah, I guess that's a monkey thing. I am gonna mutate. Chat. I'm gonna boost my ego to 35, and I'm gonna mutate again. Oh my god. Oh my god! Forget beguiling. What you understood to be the psychic sea was only a pond. There are other watches now, countless in number beyond the gulf of materiality. Points of light glimmer in all directions, but what are the... What are directions on a space that cannot be ordered? All you know now is of an aether vaster than the very mathematics that describe it. And you are not, nor will you ever be again, alone. Yeah, whatever, man. You know what? I know exactly what that means. Hey, dude. Which one of you guys is strong enough to be my new best friend? Hang on. Now, I'm just wondering which one of you guys wants to be my new best friend. You. You'll do just fine. Yes. You're my new best friend, and you? 
Well, I have no use for you. Come along. Oh, hello, pig farmer. I'd like you to join me as well. But I'm simply going to ask you nicely. Come with me, you two. We have great amounts of work to do. The pig farmer is dehydrated and will be unable to heal naturally until he gets water to drink. Here, something for you to drink. Slurp up, doofus. Holy shit. Let me know if you need more. Wow, look at this place. Flowers. What the hell was that? <laughs> Haven't seen any named creatures that really have earned my respect enough for me to want to, like, capture them. Rifle turret tinker. Cool gun. Don't know what happened to the pig farmer, but, um... I'm sure he'll be fine wherever he is. I just want to find a way out of this. Chat, we may never find a way out of this place. Jesus, I'm being shredded by someone over here. Let me know how it goes for you! He's gonna get some HP back. Rifle turret, huh? Damn, if only he knew all he had to do to survive that was stand around a corner. Oh well. Just check where the uh, bullets are coming from and then I'll shoot myself a blast. Gotcha. And you. Gotcha. I think they have some more fighting them, possibly. Nope, they're gone. They're gone. Easy. Still no way out of this cave. Should have asked for directions when I had the chance. Oh, pig farmer, you're still alive. Thank goodness. What the fuck are you? Two-headed boar. Yeah, get the fuck away from me. Yeah, how about you get away from me? And what is that? Some kind of strange horse? Die. Die like the others. I love that those centipedes keep on thinking they can square up. What the fuck, tomato? Uh, Katie, I need XP. Um, and I'm. You sense a psychic presence far into this place. We should keep our wits about us. There is a psychic warrior in this area. And the odds are high that they will make themselves known soon enough. And when they do... Cease ye thoth! Extra dimensional spark, tick, and asper stalker! To the east! Oh, wow, really far away. What the fuck? Hang on. Do you mind if I just uh, quickly um, engage that? There exists a dimension known as the degree of... What the fuck is that symbol? Chat? Holy heck. Well, his toughness is kind of beans. Native to the dimension known as the decree, the degree of Phi. Well, um, hey man, here's the thing. Ego 35, what's my ego? It seems we are e equally matched. <laughs> is what I would say if I wasn't about to rapidly mutate. Again. Yes. I suppose it would be beneficial to me now to know the power of disintegration. Ah! My brain! 
I can see them for a moment from here. One moment. Damn. Oh! That channeling energy, that channeling psychic energy into my brain! Yeah! Oh! You will! Oh, shit. Dude, I'm not even- they're not even, like, near me yet. That's just, like, the fucking... That's just turrets. <laughs> when I get to you, you're fucked! I'm letting you know that! You're gonna wish you were dead when I get to you. Cause I- I'm not gonna psychic- I'm not gonna try to sunder your mind if we have- if we're, like, on an equal playing field. That's stupid. You are fucking dead when I get there. Holy, you have no idea how much psychic blast you're about to be catching. You better already be dead. Where you at, pussy? Wait. Pig farmer! No. Ah, oh, I got fickle gill. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, ah. Oh. Oh. Ah! Fuck! This keeps happening to me. My body's freaking covered in fickle gill. Tiny spore motes flutter from down my- down the fleshy gills that twitch on the striated skin. Trapped inside are another thousand spores waiting to be jostled free. Mushrooms really like me now and I've got plus three AC. So, um... SHOW YOURSELF! <gasps> Oh, you're not them. Who the fuck are you? Was that your son? Did you bring your son to the fight? Where the fuck are you? Dude, what the fuck? I actually released spores when I got hit. Did the fucking farmer actually walk up? I feel like he got gunned down by a turret, chat. There was a lot of turrets around. I think he got gunned down by a turret. That makes more sense to me than any of the other options. Um, I want to bind disint- No, no, no. I want to bind disintegrate to eight. I don't want it near anything else, but disintegrate is a good move. For specific things. It leaves me stunned, so it's kind of spooky sometimes. I don't know why- hang on, I'm gonna have to test that after this. I pressed it because I figured it would let me- is disintegrating AoE around me? I thought it was a targeted thing. Hang on. Nearby matter. 7x7 seven seven around self. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's an AoE. I forgot, I thought it was like a, a, on a point and then 7x7. Seven seven. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So it doesn't damage me, but it damages everything else. And it does a cool... You know, it does cut through walls, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does quite a bit of damage for a couple of... And then I take three turns off, and then I'm good again. It's a really stupid plant to try that. Uh, so now I'm going to start punching up at God, is what I'm thinking. What the fuck? You live? Damn. What the... I want to leave. I've lost all of my companions. Chat. Is that a fucking bear? What, are you kidding me? Are you s is blowing from stupid town? You really think you can square up against me? What happened to the ego tick? They got gunned down by actual turrets, like real guns shot them to death. Is, I think... That's the current theory we're working with. It makes the most sense. <laughs> Ice cube! The gelatinous wedge! 
Organic matter is liquefied by the agents of decay and pressurized by tight spaces into the shapes of prismatoids. Galvanized by a cousin instinct to hunger, the gelatin entity now extrudes itself toward forward in wedge form. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, but what's your deal, though? <laughs> Dude, the only stat we're looking at for anything that we jump into the new body of is toughness. Uh, we need their toughness to be really high. Die. Die. Melt and die. Oh. That take me down more. Y'all remember when I was trying to go up? Like, escape this tunnel? I'm still four levels deep. Chat. I fear that we may never escape this place. This place is mostly horses and bears, and I really don't even like- If I try- I feel like if I walked up to one of them and I asked them what their deal was, not one of them would answer me well. Like, they, they wouldn't say anything helpful to me. Like, I feel like not one of them would tell me a good answer. These guys are actually worth negative XP. I feel like I get weaker when I talk to them, or go near them. Do we just go down more? Chad, I think the only... The only way to go is... Well... Down? I think the only path forward is to... Descend yet more. Are you fucking dumb? Ow! Oh wait, that just looked like I got damaged. It was actually just spores. Chad, I'm beginning to fear that the only way we leave this place is by getting lucky and mutating specifically the fucking time warp, the, uh, the, like, the, the vortex. That was a... Wait, that's fungicide! Clean me. <laughs> Get off of me! I don't want to be Fickle Gill anymore! I want to be pure. I'm mostly fungus, aren't I? So that's just poison now. God damn it. Thought it'd be easy. Ow. I'm all fungus now, chat. Are you guys stupid? What the fuck do you think you're doing? There's like the nest. Like there's another. There it is. Jesus. I mean, I'm really strong. It's just like. Damn, yeah, man. I, I've had enough of these caves. The caves of Cud. This wasn't my destiny to stay here forever. I'm supposed to be up on the surface killing people and taking their souls. But instead, I'm trapped down here. I'm one of the ancient beasts that Dwarf Fortress tells you about when you break open a hole in a cave right now, okay? I am just an ancient beast at this point that when you break open the cave, it says, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, ancient beast in there. I wouldn't go in there. Like, that's what's happening right now. Someone's going to crack open a door. I'm going to sense it with psychic power. I'm going to start running towards it. Like, I feel like that's the only way I get out of here. I've grown weary of this place. What are you guys fucking dumb? Disintegrate blast! Give me a fucking break. It's never going to end. We'll be in this cave until the end of days. The forgotten beast, Tomato Gaming, fumbles into sight from the darkness. His form is lanky, his hair is a mess. He's smiling with his teeth. Beware his deadly bite. Oh, hello. Beekeeper. Why are you here of all places? Are you okay? 
Bees are smarter than you think. They got that hive mind, see? What's your name? I'm Shwubis Shwushrim. Damn, that's a name I'd give you. Pleased to meet you. What do you sell? Portable beehives. I mean... I feel like... I kind of want that. But they're pretty expensive. But you would buy a bunch of my honey. Wouldn't you? Hmm. Wait a minute. Why the fuck am I talking to them about buying things when I could kill them and take it off of their corpse? Huh. That is interesting, isn't it? Your, uh, soul. Give it to me. Die. I'll be taking that. 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 And I'll be taking that as well. And that. You can keep the boots. I'm a beekeeper now. Chat. When will I escape this cave? Do we just go deeper? Is that the only way? Must we just go deeper? There's nothing for me. I just walk up to things and they fucking explode. Who are you? Woodsprog. Hayumph, hayumph. Who are you? Tamu Kat? What do you sell? You don't sell anything. Who the fuck are you? You're, you're, you're trivial. You're not even worth me killing. Who are, how are you alive? Sunder his mind. Worth three XP. Dude, no one here even provides me XP anymore. It's fucking, it's cruel. Don't you see? I need to find elites. I need to find true warriors. But all I have out here is these little idiots. This place is a dead end on top of it. He's losing his rationality. He kills everything he sees. Could you blame me? Like, can you blame me? With how things- what the fuck just hit me for very little damage? Oh, it's you. Goodbye. Trash monk. Horrible creatures. A lot of them. Wait a minute. Oh. For some reason, whenever I see one of these guys, I think it's that psychic guy again. But he's dead. Long dead. Dude. Who the fuck are you? Oh, wait, what do I care? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I press the disintegrate button and I kill literally everything in the area and then I just keep walking. <laughs> literally. Who are you guys? Leave me alone. You need to let me leave. This cave, this cave is a tool. Chat, it's a tool. I wasn't meant to be here. I was, I just wanted to, I don't care who the fuck that is, man. I just have to evolve. I just have to evolve. If I level up another two times, I can evolve. And if I evolve, I may learn how to use. I may learn how to, how to teleport away. And if I do that, well, then everything will be right as rain. 
Let me just make a quick snap. Mmm. Yeah, very good. I should choose some of my skill points, even though none of them matter to me. I'll learn Intimidate. That feels natural right about now. I'm also gonna learn, um... Hmm. Self-discipline? Hmm. Yeah, I want that. Mind over body. I don't have to eat as much. I will not starve down here. Chad, I won't. I will not be starving down here. No status effects will slay me. I will live down here for a thousand. <laughs> Someone's down here with us. Can't you sense them, Chad? The animus of the vast mind calls. There's another being in these caves. Show yourself so that I... You. A psychic thrall and nothing more. Is this what you will do? Send your thrall to slay me! Show yourself! I can smell you. You over here. You there! Ah! Let me get a good look at you! I want to see you before I kill you! Why are you running? I haven't been able to get a real look at the real him. He's hiding. He's lurking. There you are. You no longer. Toes. Chromium owl. Not much health left on you. Be a shame if I would. Who the hell's that? There's some like little creature running up to me. It looks like an Ewok. Alright, I'm just gonna. Be gone. Yeah, I disintegrate Yun into dust. Uh, yep. Yeah, Yun no longer is right. No longer alive. They're gone. Poof! I press the button. Goodbye. What the fuck? There's more of him? What? Oh, boy. Go upstairs. Uh, good news is, Yoon isn't smart enough. Whoever's clones were weren't smart enough to go up the stairs. Ah, uh, which means I was able to heal. Hmm. Interesting. And now it seems like they're gone. God, I really need to get clairvoyance on this guy. Yeah, they're gone now. Get clones. We were so caught up in caves of cud, we never stopped to think whether we caves of should. <laughs> I just want to leave this place. That's all. Hello. Bloody honey skunk. Die! Get away from me. Horrible creatures. All of you.
What the fuck? Acid gas miner. Yeah, get the fuck away from me. I'm getting really sick of these trash monks thinking they have a chance. Creatures of the fucking Aether barely have a chance, dude. Dude, I gotta level up. I gotta get out of here because I can't catch fast levels in this cave. That's like my big issue right now. I need big levels. I need them now. It's like the only chance I have of surviving another attack from a psychic. I need huge levels. Also, what's up, Benji? You've outleveled the cave? The thing is, like, the deeper you go, the higher level these guys get. But the problem is, most of the guys here are, like, aren't really my level anymore, unless it's, like, one of those psychic guys, which are random anyways, and they don't even always give XP. Who the fuck are you? Just some blow gunner. Uh, but I have to find the stairwells down to go, you know, obviously deeper. Which is kind of tricky. That's not a guarantee. Jeez, that robot died uh, pretty quick there. Yeah, I have to find the way down. I need to get to like level 10 lower, I think. But I've been taking like the. I've been going like. Z oh, Jim. Slumberling. Hang on. Slumberling. Because I know I could take them. I know I can take them right now. Toughness 29. What's mine? 20. He's perfect and he doesn't even know it. It's an upgrade, I believe. New husk. It's been quite some time since I have seen a worthy exchange mm, yes awaken slumberling become mine oh they uh resisted it well good news is uh they're legally still slumbering so i'm just gonna try it again uh-oh baboons heard about it Oh, my HP is actually um worse on this one. Ow! Fuck! I made my own killer. It's B Bama Bama Boo. Hang on. Mother of God! I have an idea. Oh boy! Hang on, B B B B Bamba. They're disintegrating. As am I. This, uh, has all- wait a minute, hang on. Uh, life drain him. And now I'm going to... What the fuck is some of this shit? I got, like, crap I've never seen before. I should have wounded my character before I did this crap. That was a stupid move. I'm a fucking idiot. I've been trapped in this cave forever. I have one chance to get out of here. They're disintegrating and being siphoned. I'm gonna be healing every once in a while when I do this, and I have itchy skin. It's bad. Now, here's the thing. I have Torrent, and if I get him away from me, that didn't work. Best chance I have is to attempt it. No, he's got equal fucking... Dude, he has equal stats to me, so I can't sunder his mind. That's the problem. I my son, If I sunder his mind, I'm not going to gain anything. He's wounded too. We're both heavily wounded, but I'm healing. He's healing. I'm sorry. Does B ba bam ba boo know all of my moves? Every single one of them? All of them? Face me in a psychic battle, it's the only chance I fucking have. I'm dead. Ah! <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> 
I love the concept of that fucking perk, and I'm not mad that's how I died because it's fucking absolute hubris. But holy shit, I cannot believe that after controlling that monkey all game, what I really did was create my own murderer because I they came out as B Bama Bama Bo Boo You, the ten ringed baboon king, who then promptly grabbed me, used all of my moves against me, and then ripped my head off. It's actually kind of beautiful. What the fuck? The Monkey King. Damn, man. Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> Fuck, dude. Now he's just out there. I mean, I've made an ancient beast at the bottom of someone's dwarf fortress. Like, we... That is what's happened. Now, be bam a bam a bow you is down there not only with all of the muscular strength that they had at the start but also all of my mental power they are like a 40 flat on all stats creature hang on you guys want to do something fun new game now let me let me go into my mods you can also see my mods that I have while I do this uh crungle mode Engaged. Let's just hop in on Krungle mode for a minute. Let's take a look around Krungle mode. So Krungle mode is fun in that uh, permadeath mode starting as a random inhabitant of Cud. So we just grab someone at random. It could be someone crazy or it could be a piece of dirt. You awaken from a fitful dream on the 28th of Tishru. I, I, Ux. You enter the body of Aaron, a bloated leech. Eh. Eh. I know one move and it's mental mutation. It's I have fucking life drain. I know a mental mutation. Guys, it's okay. This is great for me. I'm just a little guy. Stuff's become way more simple. Ow, fuck! We're okay. I can handle a spark tick. Or two. I'm not as strong as I used to be, but... We will be okay, and besides, I'm friends with these guys. These er these mirthworms are my buddies. Ow! Ow! Oh, oh no. Okay, chat, so that's crungle mode, but you wanna know what's more interesting than crungle mode? Crungle mode in the moon stare. Y'all want to see what the end game of this game is supposed to look like? You awaken from a fitful dream. You enter the body of Subashetafa, a Unimax. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> what the hell is this? Warm static. What the? Yeah. I don't feel so good, guys. My brain's all gooey. I got some kind of static thing going on. I feel sick. What level am I? 36? What are my stats looking like? Dude. My fucking... E my wizard. Last session literally had the stats of a level 30 something at like level 20. It's tragic. Monkey was actually straight up stronger. So the thing about the moon stair is you actually can't traverse this place normally. You have to walk out of it. So if you go in here, you've got to walk out manually. It's like meant to be like a super dungeon. There's no fast travel. But good news is, this place is super safe. No one's ever died in the moon stair. Especially not me. This little guy. Nothing to worry about. It's all just hexagons. 
What's weird about a little bit of hexagon? And plants. We love those things. What the hell is that? It's just some kind of rock. It's peaceful, Chad. So, what the? A dawning ape, crushing metal arms in a pendulum gate, put into motion the idea that knuckle walking was an iteration between life and machine. Artificial cheek pads blow to terrifying size around his chrome bang head, and his face screen emotes in the key of power. Oh my god, Chad. This freaking monkey is just seriously looking at me and doing this. On the face screen. <sighs> Easy. Oh! 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 I can still fight. I have telepathy. I can try to talk to them. I can sense nothing from the dawning ape. Beat the shit out of you is what I'm gonna fucking do. Ah! <sighs> oh, they're fine. Bye. And goodbye. And bye-bye. What are you, crazy? I'm not about to fight that guy. Distal Digon. What the fuck? Where am I? This could be it for me, chat. And I mean that in like the sense of like, this could be really good loot for me. All that was in this thing was a small trinket and a copper nugget. Oh, don't fucking blast me. Don't blast me. Who are you? Phase Cannon Tinker, don't blast me. Matter of fact, I'm gonna blast you. Come here. Why are you running? Oh, cat. Astral Tabby. They don't wanna talk to me. I sense hostility. Okay, I strike it back. Don't come near me. They're evil. Dude, get away from me. It's full of darkness. It's like actually like blasting me with something. What the fuck? It's following me. Oh! What the fuck is this? Wet memory eater. Ah! Freak. Now, hang on. What if we go in there one more time on Krungle Mode? I just want to see if we see anything really crazy. Oh, we're another Unimax. This is the second time that I've woken up as a Unimax. Instead of something, like, cool. Man, this place is a shithole. Oh, it's one of the... Ow! Okay. That gorilla punched me out of the map. So I'm going to use that as a time to go north, I guess. Am I melting? Something's melting me. Huh. Spooky place. Funny part is it's not even like the center of this place. It's like that giant tree. This is just like a path. This is all just part of the zone. It's not even it. Makes me wonder what the, um... Hang on. Makes me wonder what that other place looks like. Uh, Palladium Reef. I kind of just want to see what this looks like. Because this is another one of those, like, endgame zones. A prison perch. Yep. Uh, I'm an aquatic creature and may not move on to land. Which is, I just killed by a roving pack of four frogmen for my fish meat. So that's how it feels to be a prey animal. Can I crungle that one more time? Lunch POV. I was just lunch. Okay, now I am the frogman. I am the captain now. I don't feel so good. I don't know what just freaking happened to me. I'm getting shot. We're actually getting shot. Is this how it feels to be? Like, 
There comes a time in a man's life where he needs to accept that uh, he was devastated far too much to go and do another fucking ego run. If we do play Caves of Cut again soon, I'm going to do a no ego run. We will do a like actual mutant run. Uh, with no, or we'll do a uh, true kin. Thing is, if I'm gonna do true kin, I want to make sure I actually play it beforehand. Is the main thing. Um, that's the only thing with true kin is I, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing because those ones are kind of a little bit more involved in order to like be strong. I can't just be like, yeah, I fucking uh, pick this thing and that thing. It's like no, I have to actually like know what I'm doing. So I'd want to test that first. But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with another stream, so keep your eyes peeled at the usual time. Thanks for coming on by. I don't know what we're going to be doing yet, but I got some plans, so I'll catch you then. Thanks for giving the subs and donations and bits. I'm going to go get myself some food. I'm hungry. All right. See you, everyone. Catch you later.